So I wanted to share a few things. Then I'll be explaining them. That maybe you can also go and apply them. Before I come to my analysis. One, we have the syllabus coverage, which is done by the end of March. I'll be able to explain. We don't do trial in this, in this term. Siji kuna pre-trial, kuna pre-mock. How do you start doing pre-mocks when you are not through the syllabus? So the first thing, we focus on finishing the syllabus before we embark on exams. So we are only going to spend the last two or three days to do the end term exam. We only need three days to finish. It's one paper. Come on, it came in one paper, I could have two papers. That's the point. But now, our, we don't have cards. Our cards are full exams. Yes. Even the open exam, I couldn't exam, we have 40 marks, 30 marks, no. If it's a cut, it is, like for example, we did a, a cut, open a cut. But that is, now we gave them chemistry paper one. So, the end term, which is also going to take three days, they're going to do uh, paper two. So, by the end of the day, you'll find that you have done uh, two papers. Strong leadership in the department and teamwork. Uh, we don't, first of all, I'm not even the HOS. But uh, I am the engine that drives the department. No, we don't have to be the leader to, we, we support each other. Like the leader knows like that. He's not even here. He's not even only coming here, but he know everything is running uh, proper. So leadership, the department, support each other. The HOs may not be the most competent or the best, but they let the, the, the team support each other. That's the most important thing. Uh, that also means that the, the HOS should not be the person whose work is to report the members who have not done this, who, was no, who are doing this to the, to the office. That is also becomes katangaras. You are not helping your department. If your work is just kupeleka mojene kwa, 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 kwa office, kwa administration. Number two, don't be that person who is also delaying the, the department. Practical, they are ruthlessly connected. Possibly I'm the one who contains the practical because of my area. Uh, we have the practical manual like now we are doing we are doing uh, solubility solubility we did to you to kamaliza uh there are two must practical that have to be done they have already been done by each class uh kamani damo damo we need to do about nine practicals each one has to be done so i coordinate do this one of course we have the manuals i know most of you, you have been using my manuals and they are still out there they are there is this sample there is this example there is this part you know like the way you do uh, uh, to that titration, the same. Coordination of marking schemes. The schemes are coordinated. And uh, even from one, from two, you don't mark belt. But uh, from three and four, belt marking. But even if you're not marking belt in form one, we coordinate. And we have our WhatsApp, which is very active. So we may coordinate. Then somewhere when you're marking, you remember, ah, this one was not right. So we'll go back and, of course, recoordinate that. Uh, we'll connect through the WhatsApp, then we'll be able to clear that. Focus on key competencies of each member and weaknesses, weaknesses are ETC. And the key competence, that's the idea. If when you are there as a person, what are you focusing on? Are you more, con are you more concerned with the, with the virtue that uh, this one is a dragger, this one is a woman, this one is weak in marking. Kuna watu wako very fast in marking. Kuna wengine wako very slow. So focus on the competencies. Uh, you may find that, um, like me, I'm, I'm, the practical is mine, you know. I don't tell anybody to set practical in mind, but because that's my area. We have people who are in charge of exams, like I'm in the exam department of the department. And there's another Madame Goldman, you know. We are the people who coordinate and even we are able to look. When you set an exam, we'll be able to look at it. Like now we have already done Form 1. I'll send you the exam. Form 1, I've already done the exam, by the way. The first exam, Masha Fanya. So that first exam, it must be very simple. Because the part I to like, now the data I had written, uh, how do you do a library condenser? They have already learned topic 1. A student who have learned topic 1 in Form 1, do they know how to draw? Maybe contents. Where does it come in? When you're taking fractional distillation. Distillation and fractional. That's when you bring in like Libic. Libic contents is not in another operator that the initial operators. But you know many people will look at things like that. For one, there's nothing to explain. Just state three states of matter. 
differentiate birth and banner of length eight marks draw birth and banner ten, five marks hmm? list five rules of the lab five marks eh? so that all of them get 99 and they think they are geniuses that is how you start introducing the attitude is conceived in form one and nourished throughout that is something that you cannot run away from it is something that you look at that some of you, you are using men familiar to download equations describe how to separate lead sulfate and sodium sulfate you are a senior witch if you are giving a you are studying that you are not normal in the first place how does a student in form one know lead sulfate and sodium sulfate we don't even tell them to separate sand and common and sodium source chloride they don't know what is sodium chloride you tell them describe how to separate sand and the carbon table salt something they can relate hmm? those are some of the things from one say ni kupea ta kama umetoka wapi hiyo exam ni set here from one what happened i'll come to how you introduce from one later content based revision i'll be coming to that later revision books are strongly discouraged in lower forms how do you tell a form one to buy a guru and on no october now go form one are you even normal what are they reading there I can't, you know, I say lose things, but I cannot tell my students. Of course, chemistry guru. Come on, history is sour. You know history, the questions are, in fact, you can, in history, you can read the questions as not. You know that, eh? Yes. But not chemistry. Chemistry is about understanding. I'll be able to get that. Introduction exam to form one must be very, very, very simple. Retesting in a practical. Kuna watu wapa ata practical zao wazi kufanya last year. Anapewa watoto wanafanya waoni kitu because you don't pretest by the virtue that you saw that case you see you should have known automatically that is a higher than clock reaction and picked any the only thing that was is causes practical to fail is simply for any iodine you do you know that from 1992 up to last year all questions on rate has been on iodine clock Except in 99 when they brought the rate of range between magnesium and HCl. All the time it has always been iodine clock reaction. And the only thing that makes that thing to fail is potassium iodide. Because that when Guinea was using potassium iodide, you cannot use a potassium iodide that has been open for three days to carry out iodine clock. It will, look, it will work when you talk about how to test for lead. But when you open potassium iodide, that is a reducing agent. Exposure to the atmospheric air, it gets oh, oxidized. It will not work. Now go to Apple do. Just pick a question in your normal. Like for example, of course I've given you the confidentials. Kuna ile raisi. Kama ile unatumia iron 3 sulfate, sulfuric acid, na potassium iodide. It will work. So things like that you dread to do a pre-testing. It works very well. Let's now go to how do you teach. The syllabus coverage and interpretation the syllabus coverage and interpretation i want you to write this one because i want us to explain so how do you finish the syllabus by march i'm not projecting it because i want to take you through a pragmatic experience i want to take you through a practical thing see vitu za kusoma hivi hevanya hivi unajua i'm not a motivational speaker i'm a pragmatic scientist very empirical you know I am one of the few human beings with a definition and with a clear purpose in life. If you ask me who is Dadias Baluka, I'm going to tell you Dadias Baluka is an education magnet inspired by ruthless and threatening ambition to succeed. There is no obstacle that can stand in the way of me. I have a clear purpose in life. I believe God created me to go around the world on a park to unwrap and mask the bank and lock illuminate and demystify chemistry in a pragmatic manner copy with paragonism dash of humor and magnetism hallelujah that is that is baluga for you is i know why i was born so i'll take you through that thing in a in a practical way stuck in story za kusemanga tumaliza syllabus by by march how Let's go through now it. Syllabus coverage and interpretation. Introduction and classification. That is from one term one. From one term one. I want us to go through. Then throughout I'll be bringing out some things. 
from one term one we are talking about introduction and classification hizo tu pole pole introduction unaandika tu intro classification that is term one how do you introduce from one eh unangoja tu unasema wamefika wangapi wamefika wangapi you know those kind of things then you are the last one to go to the class form 1 <laughs> when you are going to form 1 to introduce the lesson you go like you are going on a date yes you go like you are going to on your date yes umejipanga vizuri unakaa magnetic you know you are smart uziende mtoto huyu ni mtu wa farm ama huyu ni nani you see now and you know <laughs> let by the way kuna watu wajui as students una to wanaweza soma vitabu hata 100 but ile kitabu kingine wanasoma ni wewe you are one of the book that is inspiring them we got certified ngunia you are going to inspire zero so go like you are going on a date in your class vizuri uh introduce to them i'm so and so this is dadias baluka the ocean of chemistry and a certified working chemist you know you know I- and tell them good morning apparatus you know good morning working chemical good morning chemistry guru and they'll tell me i'll tell them how to they are going even to be responding to me and i tell them when i get to the class i'll ask them good morning working chemicals good morning the ocean of chemistry welcome to 1k the paragon of excellence you know the way they, but you are not going to tell them for like that they are going to think you are now because you have become a bank smoker you know those kind of things you start in form 1 So the way you are going to do the way you are going to inspire them the way even you are going to give them names and all those kind of things that was my student yes J- uh, janet yes that was my student in my day school and you know in chaome day school you know and one of the the, the girls i was able to mentor and almost all of them they all the students in chaome went to university they are doing sciences and we have an engineer that like somebody richard is almost finishing and those kind of things the first kid to go to Janet no the first kid to go to university in that school was my niece immaculate brother that was my niece i was able to, they, they never taken anybody to university but I, the first one was my 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 niece so that's something that i i have done and of course i'm happy to see uh, some of my students here they are doing well they are magnetic so what i'm saying is this when you go to that class and you introduce yourself you inspire those students they are going to be they are excited they are ready for you Number two, if you want to introduce students how to read for themselves, you do it in form one. Why? You think the first topic, the Walizoma properties of matter. They know. Name three states of matter. Unaona. Unawapea. Nowadays, there are books. Just give them books. Kesho ni pata kila mtu wanajua. Unajifanya ngunia. Unajuku. Jui bairo. Unaanza kuchora biuret. Unafuta. Ata kengele inapigwe. First of all, you may kuchora biuret. Are you normal? Tell the student to draw. It is in the book. to draw and write the properties now in fact within the first week the four lesson the double lesson yenye ya mwisho i wish kama ni ya mwisho ama the first the first double the second week wapeleke lab tell them nipate mshaji wa pareta zote utakuwa nainua hii ni nini buret what the function do you know they know that they are going to know it more when you tell them to read the and draw their pareta and, and read their functions that when you are teaching them You are a parrot telling students let us list the 28 rules of uh, don't hate don't smoke what kind of nonsense is that hmm? those are things that today they write and they can recite that is how you start inspiring students to do something on their own that's it but to peleka watoto lab kama uko hapa and you have never taken your kids to the lab you know no more hata wajayo na test tube hata kama ni ile ile lab ya 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 ya, ya paper bag uko na pareta kama tano i can tell you there if you just go take back if you never taken your student there even now take them there and give them the pareta they are going to confuse that is now the the volumetric flask and the flat bottom flask they will not be able to differentiate yes some of think they'll be able to you know that now when you take them you know they show them the volume plus has a longer and neck and of course it is other it is graduated kuna 
hapo iko pale ya kuonyesha 250 inafika wapi unlike the flat bottom first and that's why you bring out things like what is the modification of the apparatus that are used for accurate measurement of volume they have what narrow necks to give a distinct meniscus some of these things they are told through practical that's like for example what the difference between when you look at the flat bottoms it has a shorter and what wider neck but the other one has a long narrow you know things like that so to to uh, increase all those issues in form 1 the issue of classification there is a lot of practical there please take them there issues of bath and banner let them do the appetite karatasi it is it is burning the, the central part is not burned then you show them this is not witchcraft this is not magic this is chemistry are we together so excite them with those kind of things but let me i start by preparing uh, oxygen with them using soil hata hao ndio nawaambia waende wachote hiyo mchanga tunachukua hydrogen peroxide tunatengeneza and then we you know soil will work best than manganese you don't know that soil contains the iron and other element like manganese and we say do that transition element they exhibit the the what catalytic properties and you know that now nitawaletea mchanga waende wachote you know i don't want to bring it because they think i've i brought it from kitui and i put the magic there so i let them jota so that they get then i tell them that now which doctors are going to lie to you that kuna moto imeagishwa kwa kwa shamba yako enda ulete then the doctor will pretend the, the which doctor will pretend the hydrogen peroxide is holy water then when he pour there it looks like now mashetani anatoa zote na anaakisha inawaka moto then he will replace it with the you know anyway so for those who want to become witch doctors i was also giving you ideas now you also introduce make lessons interesting i was even telling my form ones now when i was showing the the innermost region the condenser and band gas that even in case for those who are going to be seen as they go to hell they know that when satan throws them at the middle of the fire they are not going to burn they know they don't need to struggle running away from the fire let them just stay there and dance you know because the the, the inner more region contains and bunkers anyway those kind of things they uh, these are jump jokes but of course you can make it a little bit uh, interesting take student to the lab let them separate sulfur and uh, using a magnet there's no school that cannot afford a magnet some of those kind of things make sure that uh, you you let them enjoy the beauty of practicals in fact you remember most of the feel with the introduction uh classification and even acid and base there's a lot of practical there So turn the qua from two from one term two from one term two from one term two we are doing from one term two we are doing acid and bases air and combustion water and hydrogen two weeks acid and bases two weeks water and hydrogen the other weeks air and combustion you know air combustion is very big eh? it's very humongous but what are hydrogen in fact the only particle there is the is the particles of preparation of hydrogen mostly and water of course that one you need to do those particles of sodium possibly most schools have only sodium others do not have potassium but they when they do sodium is okay are we together that's something that they can be able to do so that is workable and you can even distribute into weeks you can you know i think that base is a very short thing isn't it with two weeks you can finish Yeah, what are they the same but the hand combustion is kubwa so i give it about 5 weeks 4 to 5 weeks or uh, then you go to form 2 form 1 term 3 form 1 term 3 atomic structure and the periodic table the entire term aguna option atomic structure and periodic table whole term Even if you say it was rakisho syllabus kuna vitu vya rakisho the foundation go and look at any poor conductor of chemistry in form 3 and form 4 ask them where they got lost they'll tell you writing chemical formula and equations when you're writing chemical formula how many examples do you give students unaandikia sodium chloride sodium sulfate magnesium sulfate na unamaliza you are not driven no more you are not closer to being no more in fact For those who have ever used my top notch book too there are about 200 chemical formula and among those ones the students should also remind them or not to write the formula of radicals sulfate sulfide 
sulfide. And you get that's how they get those things. It is to form part of it. How do you draw, how do you write water? Let's do the no water is made of hydrogen and oxygen. So when you cross by hydrogen one, oxygen two, ammonia, nitrogen three, hydrogen one, that's how you get NH3. HCl, hydrogen chloride is hydrogen and chlorine, hydrogen balance one. Are you get the point? Formula of acids, formula of water, formula of ammonia. How do you write a nitride, a nitrite, a nitrate? Two things, all of them, should form part of your exam. But what am I do? I do sodium sulfate and magnesium. Then you you demarcate the normal formulas from the one with variable balances. The one for carbon four, nitrogen four. Upper pn you later you become a sulfuric six acid, phosphoric five acid, sulfuric four, uh, those kind of things. So get take your time. Two hundred. If you don't have them, you can book two is the Bible. If you don't have book two, you are going to struggle to teach, my friends. Then you come to equation. How many equations do you give? Five. When you have a tano, when you have a kumi, on a zema and a lane. I think I think I want to 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 show there. I think there are method that you normally use uh, to. I, I'll be able to show that later. Now, when you come to equations, you start with equation word equations. They rewrite using chemical symbols. Then now they back. So, Ukiangalia Book 2, I've not given you a lot so many questions. I've just given you a hundred. What? Con they convert to chemical, then they balance. If I give you a hundred equations that are what? By the time you finish, how many chemical formula again have you written? About 350. Because the minimum an equation should have is three. Substances. So, you knew that. From there to Jamalizana to Nayenda kwa other equations that are chemical, but now you just balance. I've given them around 158. By the time they finish with 208, I couldn't equation And I think you have devised a method of balancing equations. If you have not, you tell me, I show you. This is nonsense of uh, at the work at two. If two does not go, go to three. You, there are some equations you cannot balance like that. So I'll, I'll be able to handle that one later. So the idea is came, take your time with this topic. Then number two, another mistake that people do. Wakimaliza wanaenda kwa hizi maswali, sijui za kutoka wapi. Jiu mutu wanaenda main family, wanaenda kutoka maswali za. You will never get it. You will never get those questions on atomic structure and period table from main family, from the likes of, uh, from the likes of mocks, from the likes of text and fisted, and most of the revision books. Because, what wanatumia maswali ziko, the KCSC, that are already synchronized. KCSC will, Test will, te will bring you a question on periodic table, but that question, it may combine knowledge of periodic table, a t a chemical, family, structure, and body. Are we together? So, but when you look at now, of, again, for those of you that they, they, you need to tailor men, you can tailor them. For example, like I've tailored about, about 70 questions from the same topic. It's just about writing, um, writing uh, co configuration, talking about whether this one is a metal or not, and all those kind of things. They are captured there. So that's another mistake. Una fulfunza wat na de man on us gang wato na sema. Mimi lifunza kwa class ni kailewa. Like in even yamutiani liguja. Unanda guliza m dodo to the to give the to compare the atomic radius na badu kwa atomic structure. From where? Hmm? Badu kwa chemical family on ambiya mdodo ako a compare the atomic radius between sodium and magnesium. That requires the trend, isn't it? So and of course, that is very much important for you to be able to. So to my your story, you pay a whole term. Term three is very short. So we need to, we need to, we cannot do two topics, surely. So give it a whole term. Sawa. Term from two term one. Chemical families, structure and boarding and salts. Chemical families, structure and boarding and salts. I think nobody is using KLP. Yes. Chemical family structure and bonding and uh, sorts. Do you know if you have taught atomic structure proper, there will be very little to do with chemical family. Can you query? You have already done it. And I think you are not teaching sorts the way it is taught in the way it is in KLB and some of the books. So you have to come up with a methodology. Like they just want to of preparing soluble salts. Add excess metal, metal oxide, metal carbonate, metal hydrogen carbonate to dilute. Acid, filter, eat the video to saturation, cool to chrysolites. Period. 
you don't have to start how to prepare copper sulfur. Then you tell them for copper. If you are starting with copper, the starter reagent is copper. Then you heat the copper to form copper oxide. Then now you now start with the process again. That's very much important. Then uh, salts find a way. Of course, I've analyzed it again in for book two. That's an area that is very much important. Then we now go to form two term two. Form two term two very fast. From two term two electrolysis electrolysis then we have carbon and nitrogen carbon and nitrogen aguna gas laws na molds especially if you are coming from a school where your students are poor conductors of mathematics then we engage all immediate we are dead so the concept again these topics of carbon nitrogen the non metal these are these are topics that really involve your student in doing the what in in in, in doing their own work what does it require to to learn how to prepare one for oxide and you can be equations are very important because you'll find all those equations are already captured you already did them so the student do not have they already know to prepare calcium carbonate plus hcl is equal to that they already did that said so of course that's you need to improve that you to amass what to amass na came those people are very allergic hmm? they are very allergic to the chemistry of elements and metals in fact when ulizanga tutafika waende mall but it need to amuna option These are topic that student even the weak student will always get something up and watoto wanapatanga kitu unapata uses of sulfuric acid draw a diagram to prepare carbon for oxide pitu kama hizo do the ready there so uh electrolysis hiyo ni kitu wa one week maximum two weeks na ufunze only electrolytic binary compounds what you put is you mimi nataka wangu ni mafunza mpaka aqua solutions you know really sasa mtoto you know by the way for students to even understand the effect of um, how how copper you know the effect of uh, copper electrons on copper sulfate he has must have done electrochemical zel do you know you know you are dissolving copper electrons into copper sulfate when a metal is due to a, to a solution of its own it goes to solution but they only say that goes to solution the anode so they need that wisdom but waka pona ngangana vile unajua kufundisha chemistry eh this guy that just the way ni sema even chlorine funza tu chlorine ile ya form 2 ukienda huko kwingine wacha kufunza mpaka HCl there is a reason why repeated there is a reason why we have acid and base in form 1 salt in form 2 and form 4 we have acid base salt and solubility that's a very important topic don't na exam wengine mnanijifanya wajuaji after sijui after introduction to chemistry at what one and direct to atomic structure and periodic table ati ndio wajua kuandika equations gani be no more but the pelaka wa dodo pole pole bana wewe usiule pelaka pole pole kama ulikuwa unauliza divine chemistry two marks huh? why are you asking student huh? to divine analytical chemistry huh? and be magnetic one you don't know fanya watoto wana wanachukia chemistry na wanafanya vitu kama hizo so peleka tu syllabus zenye iko ndio tumesema sasa hivi kutoka carbon twende kutumalizana na non metals sasa hivi tuko kwa form 3 term 3 eh? form 2 term 3 form 2 term 3 form 2 term 3 we are doing sulfur and chlorine chlorine is a two page thing this thing you already did in form 2 so the only thing that you are adding there but repeat Especially the student here they are not able to capture well the issues of displacement that's an area that student do not get the concept of displacement i'll give you the summary for chlorine in one page so that one is not an issue you, these are things because i thought on as a jisomea yeah, because you did it in form 2 you can just go and octopy the natural double lesson utamaliza wengine mnashindianga hapa siji technique can only work in a line that's good Uzo ule mtoto anashika ule mtoto amezaliwa akuwe farmer akuwe watchman wachana na yeye 
Lazima in this world, we must have grave diggers. We must have sandy harvesters. And we must have doctors and engineers. And that is why some of you are spending so much time dwelling on the poor conductors. The energy required to convert one E to a D plane and convert 10 B plane to A. And that's why you look at the results of Alliance High School, they are very normal. To conduct a great bag of E. Because we go to E for the first time for since 2015. Because somebody had refused. This is what you do in this field. He is at home. Going to be sleeping with their grandmothers and their mothers so that you can teach them at home. So what do you do? They stay at home. Are you going to be bothered with those kind of things? Those are people even when you tell them, come. They know to come. So let them get their E. You know. Funza ule mdodo on a you in that glass kuna mdodo bright. We una wastia mdodo bright mwenye niwa E. And you know that in these day schools the subject where students get airplanes is science is an man. Uliza ule kama hata waliona ya ya history. Ini jaume. And as the and as the and the array, they never. In fact, the array and geography completely has it. In the job, you were wallowed one. They knew, and that's exactly what I used. And I never bothered. The company were A, Alibada, Richard Good A, the likes of Maglet, the good A. They don't know them, and that's why they are doing only chemistry. And their known is doing history and and the array. I don't know any of them. So that's the point. Funza mtoto, enda na ile speed, yenye nomo, mtoto kila mtoto atasaidika, wenye ni poor conductor, ni poor conductor atabaki pale, ukimaliza, I'll tell you what to do. Let us continue. Tumawaliza salva and chlorine. Sumeona salva, iku wapa one page. Haya, next trende. Form, now to go form three term, one, gas laws and malls, whole term. Hakuna octopus, they are mall. There is no option. For mall, is the entire term. 14 weeks. So, I, I think you understand what I'm saying. In as much you are talking about finish the syllabus, there are things you cannot touch. Mall is everything. Now, I have to navigate through the to keep up with practicals. Muna fanyanga practical gapi. Muna nana mwalimu anavanya haizi ye. Na zodi ya madogze na maliza. My friend, you need a minimum of nine practicals as follows. Titration should be packaged as the following when you reach to the practicals. Let your student do the following practicals. One. Practical number one. L sodium and rugzide. Molarity of 0.2. Ukitaka kuwa kama wale watu wanapenda bitu konk. Una the end at 0.5. But let it be around 0.2, 0.1. It will work. Use pen of the lane. You know, Penelope begins a very distinct color change. Are we together? Yes. The practical number one. Practical two, sodium peroxide sulfuric. At least we may introduce diabetic. Now. Ah, yeah. Practical number three. Sodium carbonate. Na HCl. Using penoptalin. Ya pili pia ni. Ah. Ya pili ni penoptalin, but ya tatu, so di akaba na HCL, use methyl. Yes. Ukutumia penoptalin, you will get double the volume required. Penoptalin will give you. The reason is because when you're using so di akaba na HCL, we, they always undergo the double indicator titration. You know that one, eh? The first reaction reacts so HCL plus sodium carbonate to form what? What do you get? Sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. But now some of the sodium carbonate are not reacted. The carbon dioxide and water will react with the sodium carbonate remaining to form. That's the first practical. Then if the HCl, the sodium carbonate is in excess now, that's the second practical now. Upon your methyl in a vacuum sasa. Then now the second one, now we have now the sodium carbonate that's already in the solution combined with the carbon dioxide and water forming the sodium hydrogen car. Now that the second titration, ili inetangwa double indicator. Ndiyo usata tukifanya, tukenda na methyl, itafanya ya kwanza, to get sodium carbonate, to get sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water with some excess sodium carbonate, which now react with the carbon dioxide and water formed to form the sodium hydrogen carbonate. Yes. So, 
That's the first thing that takes place in the first place. Then now the second one, now the sodium of the carbon and now finally react with the HCl. Now that when you're using the phenolphthalein to form sodium chloride plus water plus carbon fog that. Any chain reaction, what out of I could do, but taletewa. So use methyl, use methyl there. Then you can also number four, borax and HCl. You know how many have borax in their school? Borax. Sodium borax. Now you know every time you come here, I always give you the reagent. You cannot survive without borax. Borax is a cheap reagent. It cannot go above 5,000. No, 1,000. In fact, I think it's about 1,000 to 1,000. Some rock principles, they wait until you have to lie to them so that you can buy something. So borax, when we teach it as early as now, it is one of the cheapest reagents. Borax has been tested 11 times in KCC. How do you mean something that has already been in the KCC all throughout? And that's why you need those things. So, you use methyl. So that the student can start getting used to methyl. From orange to yellow. You know those colors are very close. You know the other time to relate that our limo work on. When I say my young people, the chemicals are bad, you know. Things it's the lack of exposure. If a student has never done a practical methyl, not a way of Kumbuku Livania lean, but a Dani at a Juanji, and you know those color transitions are very close yellow, orange, very close. So that's something, and then pink. Now, then you continue to go practical number five. Eh? Uh, practical number five, Fanya Redox, Redox symbol, potassium permanganate. Now, Xolic, the one that it was done in the year 2000 and 2000 and what? And three. It is one of the sample particles there. Very simple. Yeah, that is the simplest redox reaction. And then it's simple. Then, number what? Took number six. Six fanya two direct titration. Two synchronized double. Uh, two synchronized direct titration. Titration in Billy, but you see back. Unajua hivo? Ikona table one, ikona procedure one, and procedure two, but it's not a back titration. Do you know that one? Can I give you? Can I give you an example of that? The example of that, andika solution A, B, C. Solution A, B, C. B and C. Andika two line, then takupia ni nini? A ni 0.2 molar HCl. Ah, 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide. Zero point two molar sodium hydroxide. Solution B ni HCl. Ijapiano, but zero point two. That one you don't give. HCl echo bracket zero point two. Then C 0.1 sodium carbonate. So procedure one will react HCl with the solution A and B. So by titrating A and B, you will standardize the B, which is HCl. Awajapewa molarity yake. So here, the sodium carbonate echo the molarity in, in bracket, meaning that you are not given. So you will use solution A to get the molarity of solution B, which is HCl. Then now procedure two, you are going to react solution B with sodium carbonate. Those initially, those are two unknowns. But now these are, you are just going to ask two direct questions. Calculate the mode of A, calculate the mode of B, that reacted, therefore calculate the, mo the molarity of B. Then you engineer to handle it to the same. The only issue, these are two titration combined, but I could back titration up. Are we together? Is the only thing they are going to relate is to know the molarity they have got in procedure one, they are going to use it in two. Are you get the point? And now you go to back titration proper now. Number seven, back titration. Back titration, number seven. So you know, pay the proper. Now, eh? In a regular HCL, 
ACLE kuna gaina magnesium the ACLE is excess in a reaction na hii then from there they able to get the molds of the back you know the real back titration then now from there to go number 8 now you do a redox back titration unajua hiyo eh <laughs> if you have not used the the, the, the manual it is there redox back back titration to me ama redox kama ile ya una react sodium and roxide na ammonium sulfate are you get those kind of things you know there is there are so many back titration the intermia oxidizing agent kama mostly iron to sulfate potassium permanganate those kind of things then now finally double titration that is number what yes are you seeing the way i plant my work eh from the simplest to the what to the hardest yes so make sure that from there that become the end of wasting time on titration unless it is a practical by the time they finish that one they will have done how many titrations 13 because kuna tatu the nyeni mbili mbili they will have done two of from there even when you are doing thermo if procedure one is thermo wafanye thermo procedure two you may combine a titration give them the values because una time ya waste tunaelewana forget wale watu wa kuweka mask une wale watu mda mejeka mask sijui amevata gabud sija watu wanafanya mochari ako pale nje akiprepare chlorine na sulfur oxide wacha ujinga you are not going to become invertible when we are still watching so now avoid preparing poisonous gases nobody will tell you to prepare those kind of nonsense in a normal case yes Are we together? Yes, so that's why you waste time. Mtu anatengeneza hydrogen sulfide and you are talking hell you you know you are not even going to function at night. You you are your husband or your your wife thinks you have cheated but it is the hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen sulfide and sulfur oxide be no more bana. Be magnetic always. Take care of your life. Prepare things that are important. You don't even need to prepare chlorine. Enda uonyeshe na projection. Why do you need to inhale? You know, even if you are preparing in a film chamber, you are still going to inhale them. So that is something that is there. So we continue. We are now in term what? From three term two. From three term two. From three term two. We are doing organic one and two combined. And acid bases and salts. Organic one and two, acid bases and salts. is a long to a long term <laughs> you cannot go beyond that organic requires a lot of time you know organic alone those are 10 mark not 10 30 marks 6 in paper 1 around 14 in paper 2 and 10 in paper 3 so that's it so organic 1 and 2 combined then salt so they are form 4 sasa are we together then term 3 form 3 term 3 form 3 term 3 energy changes alone energy changes alone that's a very long topic number 2 term 3 wengi mnafanyanga end eh, from 4 end rounds so you will find with 9 weeks there will be like 3 weeks for exam so with 5 6 weeks you can finish one topic we need to be no more that's why i'm telling you i'm a pragmatic sign i don't want to tell you term 3 from 3 energy changes radioactivity and electrochem that's a mad person how when you look at those things they want you to tell me whether they can work or they can't work then now we go to term 1 form 4 from 1 term 4 to form 1 uh, sorry form 4 term 1 rate electrochemistry metals and radioactivity kuna topic hapo they don't rate na, na radioactivity those ones you can finish two weeks two weeks isn't it metals using the octopus i'm going to give you that one you can use it in one week and they can still read a lot for themselves now that have uh, there is a lot there but of all because from four for kwanza there are so many remedials most schools they always have even remedials so you love even enough time to get that but in case things become tough maybe something like radioactivity can spill over to term 2 of which you will finish it within the past two weeks is that thing workable 
is that thing workable yes it is very much workable and as you see as you see i'm not reading anywhere this is the thing that i do so i'm not giving you stories so the only problem is this some of you you will find a teacher saying even if you going for games chukua hii class yangu wa form 4 utanilipa but form 1 ah chukua hata for 3 weeks so you don't focus on finish the syllabus the plan for finishing the syllabus has to start from what from one are you together and then 20 kwa revision strategy the content you'll be done doing with mr bungoza i'm just doing the the overview you we need to buy audio revise i need for kabarak i need the monk for alliance high school i need the monk i don't know for where wasting time that's not revise my friend and that's the problem what kuchukua tu makaratasi kutupa kwa class sasa hiyo una mark unaenda unafanya mitiani mingi wengine hata wanafanya top 1 mpaka top 15 na ukiletea mtiani mtoto that is student half out of 8 2 and a half out of what are you doing why should you even give a student an exam that has going 5 weka kando enda mu train mambo ya protocols now you have finished the syllabus you can do something called uh you can now stratify you can now you use what you call start uh, the, the 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 stratification of abilities stratification of abilities kuna kama uko day school uko na watatu watoto watatu wa a how you need a special okay this one you can even give them paper they'll do it nice but they like of janet and richard they used to, these are things that i used to do it at day school You know I I was not born in Alliance. I've just been taught here um from 2018. I think up to now that was just six years. I've taught uh, for the last uh, from 2005, in fact 2003. Um that is almost uh, uh, 18 years, 17 years. I've mostly taught in a private school then day schools. That's where I've been taught all my life except now from 2018. If you're in a day school, angalia watoto watatu wa A wapatie A yao. You know that today if you give them a paper watafanya usiku na watakuletea and you just go to mark why should you give the entire class of 90 and they are getting a half out of it a half you know why are you marking nothing and wasting papers save that money to go to Mombasa and to be rewarded now now let's now you when you differentiate you can differentiate them. identify the student as weak some of them the weak student you can take do you know weak student can even get that in a practical they like get that while well, you strong like that don't focus on the tail you know focus so much on the tail some schools mpaka mnaonyesha watoto mtiani mtu ako kwa forest anaumwa na nyoko huko unaona akifanya vitu zingine hata simsaidii you know those kind of things that's why you see some result that are artificial they will end at b how can a normal school chemistry not end at b are you normal you can't it is not possible that's when we went to the university kuna doctors wa kitu na kila mtu alikuwa na A na kila mtu alipita but at university kuna majalipata so I think that are no more so that the the idea so the revision strategy one content based revision content content based revision you know what that one means fungua hapo kwa hiyo octopus ni wape hapo ya sulfur content based is where you go to class watch a mambo ya kujukuji moko ya kabarak ji moko it is there it is even printed in color octopus look at that octopus already the student ready red sulfur unaona tukianza pale mwalimu ni kama una yes so ukianza pale angalia kwa frasps the first process kana the outermost pipe what are it we have the what the super heated water the super heated water at about 15 atmospheres and 170 degrees celsius then what the role of this to melt to melt the sulfur the innermost pipe we have the hot compressor here to do what to pour the molten sulfur out of course mtoto anafaa kuwa anaona hiyo diagram because ana Asha soma these are not 
and that's why I'm telling you. <laughs> me, I don't. Yes, but she did not. You have never seen them how to make sure to not. In the app, make not. So they go and copy KLB. They go and photocopy the same things you gave them. But look at that question. End up with sulfur, chemical properties. You go pile on a bit of oxygen. Baga me kupea the observation. There is a blue flame. They get sulfur oxide. For all the metals, magnesium, whatever you get, metal sulfide. They react with conch sulfuric acid, na conch nitric acid, the conch nitric acid, you get nitrogen oxide plus sulfuric acid plus water. With sulfuric acid, you get sulfur oxide and water. And you can see they've even given them the observation because sometimes we tell now conch sulfuric was added to sulfur. What observation was meant? Bubbles over what? Colorless gas. And of course, the yellow solid dissolved. And you can be able to see preparation. You can have preparation of sulfur. There are two methods. Method one, copper plus conch sulfuric acid. Sodium sulfide plus HCl. I've even given you the condition is what? Heat. In a petition of conch sulfuric acid collected by downward delivery. And of course, I've also given you that if it needed, if it needed what? Solution, you prepare it using a what? An inverted funnel. You can see it, that thing, although it is one page, it is very pregnant. That's a very pregnant information. It is giving you everything that Mdota Nafa kujua Akisha Aona, Bungusa will be telling you that. That Akisha Aona solid, iko kwa conical flat. Liquid, iko kwa funnel. This is a funnel. Ama kwa dropping funnel. Are we together? When you look at the properties of uh, the, the property of oxide, reducing properties of, of sulfur oxide, then you see how does it uh, we start with how does it react with water to get sulfuric acid. And that's what is responsible for the acidic and the bleaching properties. Very important for you to be able to stand. You can see the reducing property. How does it react with potassium permanganate, uh, dichromate? And I've also given you why. Because reducing manganese from what? Positive 7 to, 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 to positive 2. The dichromate from positive 6 to? Yes. So that kind of a scenario. Then you see everything is captured there very well, including the oxidizing properties of sulfur oxide. Well analyzed. We go to sulfur 6. Angalia Mali sulfur 6 is equal. I don't know where it is. Eh? Yes, yeah, sulfur 6 laboratory preparation. I've given you there. And there's something that those we don't teach, like, for example, why is sulfur 6 collected as solid crystals? Because in a gaseous state, the particles are far apart and is highly soluble, so it is very it is thirst for water. So because of this distribu the, the sparsely distribution of the particles of sulfur oxide, they'll easily be able to absorb water, forming harmful acid fumes. But now they, in solid state, the particles are closely packed. The compactness reduces its what? Is 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 for water, and that's why it is collected like that. That's something that. You know, it is not captured in books. That's why I'm telling you. This is one page, but it's very pregnant. Hmm? You look at the carbon is sulfur. The, the conduct process. It is divided into what happens in the burners. From the burners, we go to the what? From the burners, the other reaction takes place in the what? Catalytic chamber. From the catalytic chamber, we go to the absorption chamber. From the absorption chamber, we go to the dilution chamber. And from there, we go to the scrubber. Now, reaction the scrubber. That is also ignored. Again, very pregnant with information. These are not the name. Dodo and Asomanga to Kona Gazi Gesh. But the Gazi Ziko Gesh, Dodo got two words. I'm going to get a little bit from one. I'm going to principles. I'm going to octopus. You know, I'm going to make family. I'm going to test it and visit. Do you know, my boys from four, when I fuck one, one book. Yeah, you're going to know from Form 1. Moja. With this kind of, and first of all, I show them. I prepared for them. Of course, I can show you for, for chlorine. It's here. The octopus, the, the superior powers of the octopus, you know. That is chlorine and this compound. That's one page. Of course, the villain may cut an issue if you are queen in you. So, that is one page of chlorine. You can be able to see it. How do you prepare chlorine? You can see the reagents are there. We require it. We pass it over water. The water removes the traces of HCl. 
We pass the Rukong sulfuric acid to dry the gas. Then we collect the gas by down on delivery. We are also giving the chemical test for chlorine. We are also explaining why chlorine is part of our water, although it is still soluble in water. I'll give you, must, must relax. I'll even give you a more distilled, you know. Uh, chlorine is part of our water. When it passes water, the HCl being that more thirsty for water will dissolve in water fast, forming hydrochloric acid. And chlorine does not dissolve in the dilute water. Hydrochloric acid. Have you ever asked yourself how we are able to prepare chlorine using lead dioxide? And lead chloride is insoluble in water because the heat will pre will make sure that there will be no formation of insoluble lead two chloride because it's soluble in hot water. Again, that statement, although it is in one page, is very what? Pregnant. It contains the information that you cannot find in a box because of the undisputed superior powers of the octopus. You know, it has never been. You know, that is now the octopus technique in content. And you see, this thing, do you know when you do things like that? Can you compare it when you give a class a uh, papers? Unafanya ata pepatano. Nanajua mulivanya hizo na hakuna kitu itakuja. But hakuna vile uta revise content. The question will come. Will come from the content. Are we together? Yes, I have done several. Even, even, uh, even metals are here. Even metals are here. One page again. Those are all the metals. They are there. Zimepeano hapo. Iyo ni metal moja. So, Guys, when we talk about Shinamoja, most of the teachers we are just simple motivation speakers. Very, very basic, by the way, elementary. Whereby you just tell students, make short notes. Do you, have you ever showed them how to make them? So you expect you expect a student to be brighter than you and to make better notes than you. I have tried, but you say you're lying, they are the best. I always end up doing it. And of course, all these, even the flow charts, most of the flow charts, both biology and kids, they are going to be out there. Uh, so now from there, after doing the content base, unafanya kwa kila kitu. Like, if you are doing water and hydrogen, what do you need? Five minutes to finish. One what is tested in case you see the the sources of water. Mambo ya natural sources of water wachia watu wa geography. You don't have to tell students, let us look at the natural sources of water, the river, the, the lakes, and the rain. You know, whatever can be tested in a normal exam is the what? Chemical sources of water. Be normal. Expound. What do, how do you get water? By burning an organic compound. Ketabu munafunza kando, lakini siyo hiyo itakuja peke yake. It is any organic compound. You can burn kento, you can burn biogas, you can burn farafin, you can burn methanol, you can burn ethanol, you can even burn ethene. Tunaeza kuletea hiyo ethene, we prepare. I'll have to direct to delivery tube na tui burn. Then to later. Unaelewa hile na kuanga the funnel, then inaendelea. Tunaelewa na eh? Be creative. Think out of the box. Be magnetic. You know, octopies your content, you know, in a magnetic manner. Hiyo turi meisha. Ikitoka hapo tunapitia, when we burn it, tunapitia kwa, kwa, kwa YouTube, containing ice cold water. What are we going to see? A colorless liquid. But, hiyo YouTube, we can put calcium chloride. So you'll see a what? A colorless solution. Are you getting the point, eh? Yes, you can also put even an hydrous called batu chloride and all those kind of things. Then you pass it over calcium and oxide, you'll see a what? A white precipitate. But, to neither petition for sodium and oxide, what are we going to see? If we replace so calcium with sodium. No white. You know, exam is what is tested, how it is tested, and what are the expectations of the examiner. We always put calcium and oxide wherever we see a white precipitate. So if we replace the sodium and oxide, there will be no white precipitate. See colorless solution already. Sodium and oxide is already colorless solution. So there is no mark there. You are just observed what was there. Now, from there, to share Malizana is of it to now we go to chemical properties of water. Cold water will already react with group 1 and group 2. 
the way the is sodium potassium is the same the metal on the surface of water will dart on the surface melt into a silvery ball the resulting solution will change a red litmus paper blue with calcium now they'll tell you explain why does it float group one elements are less dense than water why does it melt because the reaction is highly exoda why does it dart on the surface of water due to propulsion by hydrogen are you together then with calcium it will sink and then float it is sinks because group two elements are denser than air it is refloats again because after the reaction the calcium lump will be get surrounded by bubbles of what hydrogen increasing the buoyancy then it floats back reaction with steam hmm? reaction with steam let me show see if i have put anything there Yes, yeah. Reaction with steam. One question. A reaction with steam. Eka zote the njezina ila letwa. They are either going to bring you magnesium, zinc, and iron. That's a syllabus. So, kianda kupitisha petisha zote. You tell them to write the reaction, to write them to give the state, the, the observation. Are we together? The observation, all metals will start from gray. Zinc and magnesium, gray to white. For those zinc can turn yellow, but you always focus mostly for those who mark mostly the final color, isn't it? So, then, but iron will change from gray to to black. Control. Many people think when you iron and steam, you get triiron tetroxide. No iron trioxide. Triiron tetroxide, which is black in color. So then you are able to know. Ukumbuke, what is the source of steam? The source of steam. Can be eating glass hole. You, you can also get the wet sand. What else? The water, even hydrated salt. When you get zinc, zinc sulfate hydrated, you develop a steam. Yes. So make sure that you don't do what you do. At the level you are letting go, you are going to get the magic. So we are not going to do. So just get those things. That's all. You are done. Then you go to how to prepare hydrogen. Zinc and HCl. I'm a sulfuric acid and HCl. Then they are going to ask you. There are questions there like now, why you cannot prepare hydrogen using copper because the copper below hydrogen in the reactive state and those kind of things. Why you cannot prepare hydrogen using nitric acid? Why you cannot prepare hydrogen using calcium, magnesium, calcium, and uh, what? And uh, calcium, um, sodium, and potassium, and also lead and what? Lead and, and, and lead, those lead and calcium also due to formation of the insoluble coat. Now, that is the octopus way of doing it. That's the octopus way. That's the content based. Gianitatu, content based, when the hammer content. When you hammer the content, there's no way exam will get out of the, out of the what? The syllabus. If you revert, do something called examination content mapping and uh, Mr. Muguza will be doing that one a lot, but let me just give one example. Examination content map. Uh, okay, by there I forget. With hydrogen, from there you go to the chemical property, which are just two. Reducing properties. It reduces copper oxide, malate oxide, and also burning to water, period. That's it. Then from there we now go to examination content mapping. Examination content mapping. Know how the exam is set. I talk happy. Huh? Huh? How the exam is set. There are seven seeds here. Please come, Bali, Ata Mali, Ukishuku, Unapata. Ziju kwa nini watu wanapendanga tu? Ita bia tu ya kukaa nyuma ziju ilitoka wapi. Kaene kuna seeds hapa, hata karibu na mimi hapa. You can even take a screenshot from the computer direct. Let us use that one. We want to make sure that we are okay. One, content based. Examination content based. Mr. Muguza will be doing much of that, but I just want to give you uh, one example that I do. It's all good when we share all the wisdom that we have. So that when you combine the, 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 the wisdom of the ocean with the one on the boiling ocean, you become a, a cacamoniously magnetic. <laughs> now, you, we are looking at now Content based examination content analysis or other exam content mapping. 
exam content map let's look at a topic like energy changes energy changes let's look at a topic like energy changes with energy changes the first component of exam is energy changes in physical processes 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 so that's why you're going to have the latent heat of friction and the latent heat of vaporization we are building that knowledge from form 1 melting and boiling form 1 will be the melting and boiling melting can be labeled as bc but now when the girls of form 4 they are going to be asked give the type the name of energy change that is involved between b point b and c then they are going to tell us that is latent heat of fusion then we need to understand that now this thing is not well captured in klb when you are drawing like the heat of um, it, it the, the the heating curve for water sorry uh, the heating curve for water i don't know why Allow it to be. I don't know whether you are getting the difference. Eh? The one that representing the latent heat of fusion rather than melting, it will be shorter. The one that represents the boiling rather than latent heat of vaporization should be what? Longer. In fact, upon the power solid comma water solid to water liquid. You can just write water solid to water liquid. The entropy change there is positive six kilojoules. Positive six kilojoules eh? per mole. Water liquid H2O S to H2 uh, liquid delta H positive six kilojoules per mole. Delta uh, water liquid to water gas. Delta H is positive 44 kilojoules per mole. You can even give an example. I think there's one in the case you see where they are also given the one for iron. You don't have to write that. Iron solid to iron liquid, that is a 15.4 kilojoules per mole. And 50, uh, uh, iron liquid to iron gas, that is 354, negative 354 kilojoules per mole. Don't ask me, I, I do think I just know the moped. I have gone through all the cases for the last 21 and a half years and uh, i know now in that kind of a scenario there many you know these things part of it is wrongly captured in KLB. now what one and the took we found that evil when i told the give us in a fanana as a fanani so they'll ask you to explain during fusion bonds are what weekends during vaporization bonds are Broken. That's why we say in gaseous, the particles are closer to each other. But they do know that in gaseous states, for water, there is, it doesn't exist. It only exists in solid state because they, the molecules are a little closer to each other. They can attract. If they are far, far, very far apart, how will they, the hydrogen bonding even exist? It doesn't. So remember, during fusion, bonds are weak. Vaporization, bonds are broken. We will continue. We're talking about now, during melting, uh, the heat change is used to break which bonds are broken there nothing so that thing is not there then next we have to bond energy the other one is bond energy i think that one you know try to muspanya tule to vitorize by the way to hcl pekeake g hydrogen fluoride and add of one combustion of butane nile one eh Fanya vitu kama combustion of butane, combustion of ethanol. Let the student know, do as many practices as possible. The other time they brought the combustion of ethanol and it was catastrophic. That uh, thing was really badly done in a, in a KCS. For those who done paper two, they brought the, the combustion of ethanol. They were told to calculate the bond energies. So and it was very bad. Uh, uh, then the other one is quantitative determination of entropy change. Quanti Determination of entropy change. 
quantitative determination of enthalpy change. Quantitative determination, this is where we are going to have the heat of solution, heat of precipitation. We are going to have the heat of solution, heat of precipitation, and the uh, combustion, displacement, and all those kind of things. So I will be able to get to that. Heat of precipitation, heat of combustion. We'll be able to get to that. So, up on the precipitation, displacement, uh, combustion solution. This week, I want us to tackle the eight of solution. That thing you teach once, if they are taught once, the concept is the same, which is what? The formula is what? MC delta T. And the only thing that confuses students is the M in the mass of solute. Give them now many examples. Wafunze na wape many examples uki mix. Dio wa changanyikiwe vizuri. So una change, una anda solution when 4 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 50 gram same cube of water, then you tell them. Utawana wengi wata anda 4. Then ukuje kwa precipitation, displacement, na neutralization. We are talking about the mass the mass of solution. Are we together? And of course, when you are getting the moles there, you are using molarity times four. When excess iron filling was added to 50 kmq, cmq or 2 molar copper sulfate. To get the moles of copper. Always the solid that is displaced will always be in excess. You are focusing on what is being displaced. Let the student know. Kuna mali watatumia the grams to calculate the moles. Na kuna mali watatumia nini? The molarity times volume. Are we together? Kuna zile kama neutralization whereby they have to mix the two solu solutions. Are we together? Then, kwanza kitu kama ya combustion, they are burning methanol. They end up using the mass, they cannot get that the, the, the mass, we are talking about the mass of water that is being heated. To many students, even some teachers, they don't know that we talk about exothermic reaction lead to increase the temperature of the surrounding. The surrounding we are talking about is that solution, that beaker the solution. Usiende kuangalia huku. Si si joto yenye unaotanga ya ya jiko tunasikia mawenge nyadhi kwa zawa huko una una feel too warm the coming to your body. No, that is not the thing. We are talk about it was, the solution is the immediate surrounding and that's why we talk about the change in temperature of that surrounding. Naelewana eh? Kama una heat either no hiyo maji yenye kuko hiyo sufuria. And remember the assumption in thermochemistry. We assume the overall heat change produced by burning either now is due to heat what? To heat the water, which is not true. Some heat is lost the surrounding, and also the, the sum is absorbed by the heating what? Apparatus, those kind of things. So just teach them, let them define. There is something that always disturbed people. Heat of neutralization. The heat of neutralization in the end of the change when one mole of hydrogen ions is, is what? Neutralized by what? By a base to form one mole of water. But of course, even your statement that one mole of water is unnecessary repetition. Because if you are neutralizing one mole of hydrogen, of course you will get one mole of water. So this is not a problem. When now you start, we are given an exam in a KCSE, and the mole of water, you are focusing on the mole of what? Hydrogen ions. The problem comes here. When you have something like this, we have sulfuric. Now to gonna sodium hydroxide. This one is one molar. This one is 0 0.5 molar. And this one is a is what 20 cm cubed and 20 cm cubed. So when then the student will st is told when that reaction when 20 cm cube of 0 0.5 molar sulfuric was reacted with 20 cm cube of 1 molar sodium hydroxide the temperature rose uh, from 20 to 27 then the first thing calculate the molar heat of neutralization so the first one would under the end up a change which is now mc delta t which is what 40 times what 4.2 times 6 what one of zanga physics Mukifunza fizi zenu, mwache uko. 
So that thing really, especially for those who mark paper three, really messes today. I think paper three, I don't know. It's like everything you specific about you just teach for two hundred. Eh? Now you do it. And also there is a like formula when I do myanga ka MC Peter. I go more to go physics. In fact, we penalize it ruthlessly in paper three. It's, we consider it as a wrong thing. Eh? So, ata kama ni ukweli sisi atudaki kujua tudangalia what is marked. So let the students stick to MC. Delta T. Number two, let your student just know C is just 4.2. Come here to Kizema 40 times 4.2 times change the temperature, which was 7. We get the answer in joules. Or we can get 40 times 4.2 times change the temperature. We divide by 1000 to get the answer in what? Evil 2. That is now a mark for every poor conductor. Wale watoto wata wajui kitu, watumietu yo method. Sini yo watapata. Was the part ile ingine, this is how you eliminate it anyway. Then now we go to now molar it. Here you know the moles of hydrogen ions now. Not the moles of sodium and oxide. Moles of hydrogen ions. The moles of hydrogen ions will be equal to what? Moles of hydrogen ions will be equal to 20 times 0 0.5 over what? A thousand times Unajua mali inatoka eh? Yeah, because uh, sulfuric acid has one mole of sulfuric has two moles of hydrogen ion. So, when you calculate the moles of sulfuric, you have to model it times two. Now, here's value. I think it was even the last year, my last year, but one. Whereby they had given you sulfuric acid plus sodium and drug that equals to sodium sulfate plus two moles of water and that be changed negative 114 kilojoules. Then the answer was, the question was, calculate the heat of neutralization. Because more. So what do you do? 114 divided by 2. Then from there we trend finally. S low. Next. Examination content. S low. S low. S low. S low pia. And then as the hydrocarbons. Then you go to the calcium carbonate. We took a Make sure that you are able to get that. Then we go to fuels, finally. Fuels contains as follows. The fuels, Kuna, there's space there, madam. There's space there. Fuels. Fuels, we have the factors considered when choosing a fuel. We have the pollution effects and control eating value. Period. Nini ingwina unangoja kwa Badamo. So when you are revising now, <laughs> ukivanya ki octopus, jaku kisha maliza, that's how you do it. The same, and all those things, they are very captured. Then finally, and not last, that one you'll be able to do it. Open, open your book page. Oh, there is one count that I've given you there. Uh, page 14. Page 14. Utapada now, the stereo powered. Now that is now called now revision model. From there, umemalizana hapo. Now umeenda kurevise now na maswali. Wajuu kujibu maswa? Maswali. Unatumia kitu nyeto octopus. I can tell you for free. Niliwambia last year mkuna hiyo kitu. Ne, kama neki tajaribu kutafuta flowchart ya organic. It will be a portion of this. Go and look at what was there last year. That thing is bound in Octopus Guru, page 300, 269. I'm on page 270. Here is the only thing that you need to change, they can start with either no, they bring either no, propanol to propene, propanol to propanoic acid, but the concept is the same. There is what can be asked. Now you use the equation, let me tell you. When I want to go the revision books, Unapata revision book yuko na maswali the periodic table miatatu. Will you be able to finish? Can you be able to do even 20 questions of organic? Ata wezi maliza. So, but now when you get one question, which is exhausting everything. Unakuwa mesaidia watoto sasa waendo wafanya hizo zingi? Because hapo una exhaust. And then just remember that I think that one will be pensed by my because I think that one, are, they are now emerging traits. For some like hydrogenation, we just used to mark hydrogenation or rather addition alone. 
supposedly with that. But now let's introduce. Let's now qualifying addition hydrogenation addition halogenation. Are we together? Let's try to capture those kind of things there very much. Something else that was also being asked and is being asked nowadays is the concept of um, oxidation. The condition for oxidation is it. When you're using potassium permanganate, acidified potassium permanganate, the reagent, the condition is it. So that is something that is there. Of course, make sure that you're able to capture that. All those things are also captured here for those who have book four. Are, uh, now we have the book four now whereby they are being done in a, the students are, are doing it inside the book. page 149 and the student now they can do it maybe if your student cannot be able to get that then number two chemistry is form four paper two seven five out of seven equations from four work practical three quarters 75 percent from four work we're only expecting mostly 10 marks the hydration from one two three just hydration we love it to Zengin, even the qualitative that they require the superior powers of form four. Okay. That's something. So I've given you the the issue of syllabus coverage. I've given you the revision strategy, and I think you find them useful, isn't it? Okay, Angalia page forty six, the octopus. You come on to an octopus and on upper. Angalia page forty six. Kuna swali up ya periodic po treble moja ya hater marks. You may not have those time, but at least you can get kama mwatoto ataulizwa like metallic bonds. You'll always be asked about metallic bonds, train either down or across the peak. You'll be told to compare the atomic the, the melting point of sodium and magnesium. Whether you're going to say magnesium has a higher melting point than sodium because magnesium has more delocalized electrons and therefore a stronger metallic bond. You'll be told to compare sodium and potassium. And you're going to tell us sodium has a higher melting point than potassium because sodium has a smaller atomic radius than potassium and therefore a stronger metallic bond. So there is how the exam can be tested and it cannot deviate from there. So I'm looking at that. That is a, it is page what? 47. 46 is where it is starting and is 80 marks. One question. So that's the way that helps you to revise. Because you cannot be having, you don't have time to raise 10 questions in every topic. But you can get one question, then you exhaust. Are we together? Yes, now let me go to uh, finalizing the octopus and talk about paper 3 now. I was about to talk about uh, paper 3, but nowadays paper 3, watoto wanapata kila kitu. But, kuna hata kitu wakuambia. Most of the form 2 work, form 4 work is done. I, I'm not going to waste time. So, uh, preparation for the exam, we are now in the practicals. I want to take you through. I'll be able to give you another handout if you need it uh, about the practicals. And I do want to pay the handout. I don't go up here. I don't want to Zangu zilipotea. Nikiangalia kwa list. There were nine of them here. From the same school. But all of them lost. So, need to me do you. You need, first of all, you can be very... Uh, I'm not uh, praising myself, but you can be very sure that not everywhere you go and you are given these kind of materials. Yes. Not everywhere you go and you are given these kind of things. In fact, somebody would, uh, would have been selling them everything that he has meant. I have done a lot of things. Most of them I have shared. Even when you go to my Twitter handle at Macau that you're still going to find the chlorine is there. You just download and give. Chlorine now appear new sharp, it is printed. So that before you go, I'll have given you that. Sawa. Then you can also you are they also make it better, you know. Uh, but of course I I I am there to give you those kind of things. So for paper three, you have my gadgets, I'll be very brief. I don't want to waste a lot of time. There are things that I know you don't have any issue with them. So I don't want to waste uh, much time because these are things there, they are documented. I even record them in the YouTube, they are recorded. You can even use by the you know I have recorded these things, eh? The graph work, the nini, ni fanya. They go online. And uh, the free. Mine is not an app whereby you register, pay 20 shillings, 21 and a half. No. It's free. And the way I've done those things is not because of money. Of course, the money that I get from little, I get, but very little. Just a few shillings, like 30 shillings, 30,000. 
possibly and that is very little considering the effort that is meant when you look at all these guys they work for me in, and some of them work even overnight yeah. even paying them is the but i have many youtube channels so they are able to generate a few shillings now i have put content there that is clean so tafadhali mkienda zile vitu zingine pia kama kitu najashika vizuri pia mtoto tunaelewana eh so because i've done this thing that's why i've done those things like i'm giving you are not for students i cannot them with, put them, them in the youtube but now we can share them with you but there are some things both of the con- the the graph work the octopus analysis there i have analyzed there kama kuna kitu elewi tunaipitia sawa sawa eh so i i want you to uh, listen to me so that we also need but then let me tell you and that's why i don't want to waste a lot of time because i have prepared the content and i have put in the youtube i've also summarized like the entire qualitative is done in one page na kama itai pita hapa kama ni question 3 kama itai pita page i don't know page 27 you come and ask me they were they didn't think that can be from there question 3 is there na itatoka hapa hata 2027 itatoka tu bado hapo na hiyo the debate it is not it has never debated so it is captured there so i am saying i'll need to i'll not take a lot of time because i need to give time to mr mbuguzo again to dive but theory ndio tunapotelea mnajua hivyo that's where we are getting lost so can i analyze some few things very fast then kama kuna any issue i always have a zoom by the way i always have a zoom uh then we can be able to see what is there now we are focusing on what is tested how it is tested and what are the expectations of the examiner uh, in paper 3 so the examination uh, the exam will come for the following question 1 i do need this really i'll still go to it's some of these things you don't need to i can still it does here can tawa to me sawa ama mnataka kuandika yeah because i know you know them question 1 is titration question 1 normally is physical chemistry titration energy titration solubility rate of course rate i think rate next time we will come in the last class 2026 2027 but don't say i'm not saying it's not coming but of course the the chances of rate by the virtue that it was there last year featuring is i want to correct this because kuna watu wana watachukua a screenshot na wa na hivi na wa ndo aseme mr baluka said this Question 2 is always the test for cations and anions and question 3 is the organic uh, qualitative analysis. Uh let me look at now the any issue do you have any issue with the titration? So let's not waste time. I I have done that so the, those are the formulas you need when you are doing titration the student need to know how to use those two formulas how to calculate molarity and how you know they are always going to give you questions in two ways. Solution A 0.1 molar or solution A containing 6.3 grams per liter. So in that kind of when you see grams per liter you go for second what? Second formula. When now they are giving you moles molarity then you go for the first formula. And of course remember we used to accept RFM. Most palliative is equal to grams per liter of a molar mass, not RFM. But my advice for you is this, and I think even it applies to paper two. Wachana, let student write the formula somewhere. Ata wakibaliza na wafute ama wakanso. Because wrong formula, like for us in paper three, like if you write MC theta, will not even bother. You have already written a wrong formula. But your substitution is correct. We penalize everything. You cannot use a wrong formula to get the correct answer. So I'm saying, marking points start from the correct substitute, substitution. And I think even paper two like that, isn't it? When they substitute is whereby you get the marks. Not saying the end up a one plus the end up a two is equal to end up a three. It is now substituting it the way it is written in the question. Are we together? Let uh, let students now try as much as possible uh, to do. Uh, the analysis so now we have the reaction about the more ratio that's how you drive the more ratio normally you go for the simple things remember redox complex reactions they always give you the more ratio so mtoto ajua kiambiwa sodium hydroxide na sulfuric already anajua the more ratio is 2 is to 
they don't have to complete the equation. They can easily be able uh, to get that. And then now, calculations involving mold and molarity should be given correctly to four decimal places. Calculations involving mold and molarity should be given correctly. These are my rules, not neck rules. I've given you the rule that I used so that it makes the work easy. For those who mark paper three, they know that uh, we mark molarity th at least three decimal places, mold at least four. Remember, we are talking about at least four, not four or three. So to make the work easier, let the student use calculation involving mold and molarity to four so that they don't have to remember which one uses three, which one uses four. Let the calculation be given to about uh, four decimal places. Uh, sorry for that. Then uh, the carbonate, of course, I've already given that. When you have the, the that units are not necessary, but when they're given, they must be correct. We don't want to the units, but in summer too. Do you know there's a time, this, this was in 2015, eh? whereby we are getting, we are calculating the, whereby we are calculating the, 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 the molar mass, the grams per liter of uh, borax solid A. Do you, manage to, do you know, like grams per liter, oh, the G should be small and L should be small. So if any of them is capital, they, make, they get a zero. So George Mingi and all your units. You know, those are simple things, but you can be very sure. Utapata tu mtoto ameandika L kubwa. Ama G kubwa na from there they, they miss that. Consequential marking applies. And this is where some of the people, the new teachers, they mess up. They don't want to bother what is marked, you know, and they don't want to listen to anybody because they think, why should you know? There's somebody who told me, why should I listen to you and we're in the same university? Hmm? Yeah, I've listened to more than 40 examiners before I became even a speaker. One is this, eh? Consequential marking is this. That if part A in a sema calculate the moles of A. Now, Mdoto Ajui, I go to magician, I say the moles of A is 2. Then, Apo Gini, I calculate the moles of B. If the more ratio says, the more ratio is 1 is to 2. So, the moles of, of B will be 2 times 2, which is 4. See, at about a max. And the lay Apo, because the first one at a cost, but the market scheme says, answer above times 2. And the lay at a boot, I calculate the molarity. And then four moles are found in 20. Hmm? Four moles are found in 20. How many moles are found in 1,000? Hmm? So the student may end up getting how many moles? If four moles are found in 20. Hmm? Almost 100 moles. Over 200 moles, something like that. I don't. So that's a concentration that can, can even dissolve the devil himself. But the marking scheme says answer above times a thousand divided by every tighter. And as a result, the student will still get everything. So the idea is now, unajua kuna waza, kuna walimu, di unasema kuna walimu, and I've seen them. Akisha wana ya kwanza wamepita, anandika line ya radio, ri, zero, zero. Hmm. And you know that now, I have a personal experience. In 2016, I was marking a, 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 a bunch from a national school, a girl's school. I even remember the index number 08. That is 2016. When we had the rate, ile rate of reaction and redox. So, Simtoto Akafanya, I go on a kid, I on a blue color. The kid left that question blank. Now, I can indicate a note. I could not do the experiment because the reaction did not occur as for the procedure. The kid goes zero, zero. In question two and three, remember question one was 16 marks in 2016. Because just one question, a titration. So question two and three, Kalipata 23 out of 40. So that student, I'm very sure, Kupata airplane. Because, Unataka kujivanya vile we ni magician, na we ni muzuri sana. We are not teaching medicine. Nobody is dying there. If something, and that was a mistake of the teacher, because if the student did not see anything, of course, we know. With the rate, that was how you could leave the walimu wa vile waezi zema. Waliona block out. Watoto walikuwa nafanya, awaone kitu. Wanaona tu kata.
Let the student know how to read these things. Hata hii mimi nikiwa jaume and and Johnny Knowles. Eight percent of them never used to touch any apparatus during KCSE. It's been for for titration. Ni kuingia tu 20000020, you know. Remember Paul Salomon, now he worked in Kangundo Mochari, you know that, you know. He was very weak. He had crammed the, the radical and all those kind of things. And it not, I know them by name and I know what they got, but I know at least he was able to get a D plus. Because wakiingia pale, wanajua kujaza. Kwanza, hakuna kuweka inisho at 15, wanaeka 00, ndiyo final, yukua ndiyo, Initial na bado ndiyo kuwa average. Kila kitu ni the same. Because even they do, they do, even they, if they try to do, to touch that apparatus, hawata pata kitu. And in Jaume, there are only two subjects that did not defeat, and that was business and English. The English, we had a very crude teacher. The English one, he used to pick from trees. When they term one. And our funds are composition, and when I cram for two years. And you are a case Do you know in English, kuna hizo composition zenye wanapeangwa team. They write a story enye wa shei kram. You know that story has no... What? For the, inetangwa ni team ama nini? Team, which is for marks. So unapata mtoto ni ngunia kabiza badi akona 15 out of 20. So that's how people will always come up with it. If students are weak, teach them how to deal with these things. You will be wonder because you will be wondering about three marks. Why are you pale? Why are you doing more ratio? Why are you doing more ratio? Kidogo, kidogo. That's very easy. Yes. Teach your student to be magnetic, Bwana. Hmm? So qualitative analysis very fast. We go to, sorry. A qualitative analysis. Uh, Galia, preliminary test is any bit true. I just want to mention them. I always tell students, people that they don't understand. They were still here. Yeah. That uh, you'll be told to eat gently. I just want to mention a few things that are, are common mistakes to teachers. Eh? Eating gently then strongly. There is a protocol that has been brought in KZD for five times. And if I, if if we give these, even teachers here, yeah, and you go to the lab and you are given the same protocol, 60% of you may also not see anything. And you also expect your student to see something. First, qualitative. These are trick now of teaching now. The first, the qualitative analysis should be done with a teacher. You are one. Let them go pale. Come on, daughter, I want to get can tell you. Like, for example, Go back, and I think for those who are here, they remember that thing I gave them. Enda uchupe wa toto wako ammonium, aluminium, sand. Ammonium, aluminium, sand. Hydrated. Tell them to eat. It was also close to what was that I gave you. A good thing I had given you even last year. I had given you the same thing. But of course it came, but now last year they brought ammonium, iron to sulfate which was page 46 in the manual. And in fact, they were following the same, describe their parents, all those kind of things. Now, in that question, it has been brought by neck about six, seven times. We all tell students to eat. And then they tell, they give us the observation, and we give them two marks. Last year, it was been a while, they gave four marks, two observations, two inference. Do you know that question students do not get? When I hit, if you eat that thing, first of all, the first thing that comes out is what? Is water vapor. Majidi in Atoka Yakwana, that's the gentle eating releases the water vapor. Strong eating leads to the decomposition of the what? The salt. So the first thing to get out is water vapor. The first thing to get out is water vapor, which has no effect. And it will condense on the cooler part. First of all, when you tell them to write the observation and tell the guys using red and blue, they only focus on red and blue. That's not the only observation we are looking at. We are looking at the other observation. So the first one, less liquid on the cooler part. It appears as the fumes. So students, first of all, test the gas with that. Now, when I 
Red is now remain red and blue remains blue. Kathankaras. They get nothing. So red changes to blue, blue remains blue. Ah, yes, yes. Red changes to blue, blue remains blue. There is a colorless liquid on the on the on the cooler part of the chest tube. There is also a white sublimate for ammonium. For iron three, we expected last year to get a brown what? A, a brown a brown a brown residue. We also talked about uh, for this time I don't know what was uh, inside the whoever was making the scheme and he stuck with that. We, pen, we did not award for a white sublimate. We did not award for white solid. Uh, but of course it has always been that one. Now don't put it a white solid. Then we also marked for the all the both the litmus paper changes to red. Yeah, we also marked for because finally there is decomposition of the sulfate. But that one I don't want you to stick to it. It takes a lot of heat to decompose a sulfate. So that was simply more of a assumption because mistake number one that happened in hot and all ammonia so like last year is the concept of student only focus on the what they are taught. Grade observation. The guys using black and blue. That the only they focus on that. That's a mistake number one. So they don't focus on residue. Color liquid. Quanta when you two marks. I to do red. Changes to blue. And the blue. Quanta when you only indica red blue. And now, when you are eating, never use a moist boiling tube. In fact, the examiner is clear. Provide the student with a clean, dry boiling test tube. But you see that on shift one. Ya pili siwa napata wa memaliza wa meosha. So they need to know there must be a, t a, a tissue in the lab and they need to use the burner to dry it. Of course, any 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 girl that is there and look at that they, they they eat it. Just part of it has to be dry. If it is moist, now make a to uh, aluminium. The aluminium so on contact with the hydrolysis. Whatever that comes out first will be acidic. So all the litmus paper changes to and you undergo rusting in wholesale. That is key number one. Remember, Kwangeza Maji and add water, there is no issue there. Add water, in distilled water and filter. That one you are looking for. That one now you are looking for a uh, residue and what? Filter it. Of course, you Zwali, Kama you Zwali Takuji, it will be followed by step number four. If there will be step number three, step number four has to be there because the residue will only be dissolved in a it cannot deviate from that superior powers. Then when you're adding an acid you're looking for, for bubble gas. Bubble gas that extinguishes the burning spring that's a carbonate. Bubbles of a gas that extinguishes the burning spring with a pop sound that is a what? That's a <laughs> okay. Na hii kitu kikuja watu wataona ngiza. Ukiza hazi, there are three things. No bubbles. No bubbles. Maybe the solid dissolved to form a colorless or dissolved to form a, a blue solution like copper oxide. Then, the others, ni carbonate ama metal. I'm going to say, the bubbles of a gather. Bubbles that is to be a burn experience with a pop sound. The, uh, the inference is the solid is a metal above hydrogen in the reactivity series. Yes. So that's the only thing. Any solid that can react with another to produce hydrogen must be a metal and must be above hydrogen in the reactivity series. Now, describe the appearance and exposure. I think most of the appearance is mefanya sana. And of course, when you're looking at it, when you look at my book, it is there, colorless. You give out the color of the solid and whether it is crystalline or not. A colorless crystalline liquid. Like last year, it was a what? A pale green crystalline solid. That the, the scoring point is on the green. Uh, exposure to the atmosphere, this mostly they are going to bring the liquids in, like calcium chloride. You can be given calcium chloride, then you are told to put it in a watch glass allow it to stand for 10 minutes. Then you're going to say, 
absorbs water to form a what? A colorless solution. Then you're going to say this one is what? Deliquescent. It cannot. Akuna kitu inatokea outside. Akuna. There's nothing. From where? Aya. Mambo ya kitu kama hizi the octopus boko na ya. Iko page what? This page 13 number 14. Everything, anything that you need to know. Octopus, kwa man, kwa work, kwa, kwa, the last three pages, I think, kama, last three pages, angalia hapo. Hakuna kitu itatoka, and it cannot. I gave you this thing for those who have been using, it is there. It now do this iron too. Hard hydrogen peroxide. The only thing that many people don't know, angalia pale kwa iron 3. Of course, remember, green is the color of iron 2, copper 2. And we can, if iron is there, will be oxidized. Iron 2 will be oxidized because they are reducing agent. By either using, theoretically, we can use concrete acid and chlorine. But the practical is only for what? Practical is only for? I don't know. I don't know. Then now, iron 3, up and the ongiza eco. Hapa ndiyo watu wengine hata wa JSK yu story ni nini. Iron 3 analysis yake, we can add a sodium carbonate. Then you say there are bubbles. You know, Iron 3, it behaves like aluminum. And let me tell you, it's not just that. Which source of aluminum hydrolyzes to form acidic solution? Aluminum what? That is a fallacious misnomer. It is a wrong statement. It is not correct. It is not aluminium chloride that I do like to form a acidic. It is any aluminium salt that is soluble. Whatever causes the hydrolysis is the aluminium cation. And not just that one. Any cation with a charge density of positive 3 and above will, will be hydrolyzed forming acidic solution, including iron 3. Yes. That's something you need to know. Na diyo maana hata wale muna changajiki yangu kudifferentiate which oxide is acidic or, base or neutral. You know, the non-metal oxide are either neutral or acid. Just pick any oxide that does whose oxidation number is above 3. Like what? I, above 3 will be acidic. Like phosphorus 3 oxide, phosphorus 5, carbon, 4, sulfur, 4, Sulfur, 6, nitrogen, 4. All those are the acidic. Below 3, neutral. Like what? <laughs> In 1, nitrogen 2, carbon 2. It's a bit too. It's a bit too. Then the group of the bit too are doing another cram. That's it. Anything with a charge of 3, that's why iron 3 will behave like that. Just go and pick an aluminum sword. Aluminium nitrate, aluminium sulfate, even ammonium aluminium sulfate. <laughs> so, iron 3, when you have a test pH, it will be a pH 1. You say strongly acidic. You can also add sodium carbonate to one bubbles, but the infinite will be acidic. Are you together? Because if you add sodium carbonate to one bubbles, then oh maybe you are told to test the gas using a, a burning spin. Are you still going to say a carbonate is present? We say a carbonate is present when you add an acid. So if you add carbon in no part of gas that extinguishes the burning splint, automatically the influence now will be the acid was added to give a carbon. So if you add an acid and you get bubbles of a gas that extinguishes the burning splint, we say these are carbonate. So if you add a carbonate and you get bubbles of a gas that extinguishes the burning splint, then we say the, the solution is acidic. Yes. Then you can also test, add potassium iodide. you are doing your First of all, iron 3 is yellow. Solution yake. Ukionge the potassium iodide to iron 3. The iron 3 is an oxidizing agent. Potassium iodide is a reducing agent. So, the iron 3 will oxidize iron ions to iodine. So, the solution will change from yellow to, you just say brown solution formed or a black solid is deposited. Na hapo ndiyo shide natokeanga. Kama hata iron 3 unaitanga brown. Juhu utasema, brown solution remains brown. Nama tu andike, iodine ikiongezeka, when the concentration of iodine increases, you'll see a black solid being 
deposited are we together very good very good and very very manganeteka so we can be able to get to that and i think uh, everything is self explanatory there out one like those cations they are there just go go and bring your hand and let them stand that distance na mpitie na wao pia this thing is also recorded in my youtube channel mnaweza sikiza na wao waki unajua kama wameshika it will be able to follow it, isn't it i think uh, uh, with that one i'll be okay unless somebody has an issue aya so mujue then an iron checklist ni hiyo na hakuna haja kuandika junishe andika huko chini but the, the only thing that uh, maybe some people have forgotten is this i want to explain this wooden splint if you eat a solid and you get a gut that realize a glowing splint what are you going to say many student or many people will go for oxygen produced where do you <laughs> If you if you eat a thing and you get a gut that is too much carbon is reduced carbon dioxide you want to know what do you eat to get carbon dioxide so what do we eat to get oxygen gas from one work potassium permanganate potassium chlorate sodium nitrate so it is nitrate uh, nitrate manganate or uh, chlorate and even oxide busiandika carbon ni kuambia born explained it says it says hizo vitu zote carbonate because you'll get a gas that extinguishes the burning splint nitrate uh, manganate and chlorate because that is oxygen oxide <laughs> oxide ni vile watu wengine wajui super oxides they when it they give oxygen gas like what lead for when you add lead for oxide you get oxygen gas when you also eat barium super oxide but that is now the knowledge above the student at least when i do ukiit potassium permanganate unapata oxygen ukiit potassium chloride ukiit pato unajua wale soma from one lakini watu wamesahau eh so zinaweza letwa they have been brought zia dia zia ya letwa that is cases of 1997 the other one is differentiating bromine and chloride bromine and chloride when using chlorine water and starch indicator uh, we having now you can you remember both of them bromine when you add chlorine water will you will get a, a orange solution ama ama yellow solution iodine will get a brown solution wale mnafanya biology ukieka iodine solution si bado inakanga ni kama pia ni yellow isn't it it's very close to that one of bromine so to further differentiate it you add chlorine water followed by starch indicator so that if now the starch is You know the chlorine water will display to form iodine. If iodine is there, you'll see a what? A blue color. Are you saying blue black? But the biology are too hapo. For chemistry is strictly deal with one color, which is blue. Kwa biology mtasema blue black, but has we only stick to blue. So if there is blue color iodine, no blue color bromide are present. And that analysis is there. the analysis of an, uh, anions mukonao pia pale you can see you can use lenade to differentiate all the seven ions if there is a sulfide black precipitate but that is theory one dig two up a theory that you will not go to see that one in a practical but of course theory will be there you prepare the gen sulfide then you bubble it through lenade you need this knowledge to answer that question correct yes so then you get a white ppt that is sulfide sulfide carbonate bromine chloride yellow ppt in iodine Then how do you differentiate this this now uh five to differentiate carbonate sulfide bromide unaongeza acid no bubbles ni tatu zimebaki sulfide chloride bromide then bubbles that is the ppt dissolves that is sulfide and uh, add chloride and of course add there to differentiate sulfide and carbonate you use what acidified potassium manganate 7 and acidify potassium dichromate 6 ongeza pale iko tu hapo madam naona hujafungua huko i think kila mtu akona hiyo ni hiyo ah hiyo it is captured this one isn't it this one is the most direct uh, i've given you current so ni bila na project yenye si current so yenye mko na ime imeandika mpaka to differentiate so because i was the one who was now i was making that uh, that that changes because i i knew i had forgotten it 
uh, or rather it was only the space so i had to squeeze my space to fit that the use of uh, uh decromate and pabanga is it clear everything the superior powers of the octopus they don't have the head you know it's very easy and you're going to find teaching with that thing it's going to be very easy yes then we go to the last one the organic octopus technique Everything, whatever can be tested is here. It is here. I will deviate. It cannot. It is the most current. It is the most clear. It is there. Go and make copies for your students. Are you together? Everything. You can see. Sasa hata unasema uko na poor conductor ile wange hata shidoje na one page na ni kukram tu and for your information just get somewhere that organic qualitative analysis are independent of each other organic qualitative analysis are independent of each other organic qualitative analysis are independent of each other they are independent independent each other organic qualitative analysis are independent of each other do you know what that one means akuna ku relate there is no contradictory ions kila kitu ko kiviake there is no contradictory ions in this method there is no contradictory ions here so kila kitu iko kiviake so we kazi yako ni ku cram tu ukiban yellow zuti flame the same compound unaongeza hapo chini bromine that is not decaralized unaandika double bond triple bond abuzen na pale juu ulisema ziko present i want to repeat that one organic qualities are independent you can burn a solid it burns a yellow sooty flame you andika double bond triple bond present hapo chini unaongeza acidify potassium manganese does not change from purple to color unaandika double bond Oh, it changes now or oh, it does not change you understand a double bond triple bond roh ah ata kama ulisema ziko present even we can have a very funny scenario let the case of oxalic you'll start you'll dissolve it in water add potassium papangan changes from purple to color you understand double bond triple bond present double triple bond triple bond roh present uban uongeza bromine water does not change you andika double bond triple bond absent uongeza dichromate again does not change from more to kusema mungu nilikosea wapi all the things are there they are present now again as an absent one thing is that like let me tell you this one is for your own consumption not for your students something like benzoic will burn your yellow sort of flame very yellow sort of flame the legs the, the same with xylene But when you start you come for bromine na, na potassium and seven it will not change this because or compound with benzene ring they undergo electrophilic substitution not electrophilic addition they don't undergo addition with bromine and potassium and seven so they only undergo anyway that's advanced chemistry it's not necessary now that explains now why with the anything with benzene the likes of mnakumbuka kuna wakati tuletewa xylene 2019 eh it was not decaralized hata ikaletwa ikat substitute one as a cyclohexane sasa watu wa kigugu xylene kuna double bond lakini cyclohexane haina so they are forcing even the some are saying there must be two marking scheme <laughs> all of them were burning with the yellow sort of flame but when we come to the bromine water and potassium permanganate they don't because of that issue i've said the concept of electro the distribution of the pi electrons the electrophilic addition substitution that's advanced organic chemistry number two we, the, the other thing that i also going to explain the concept of oxolic and sodium oxalate oxalate are weaker reducing agent so they'll undergo they'll react with potassium permanganate because of very strong the potassium manganese seven and what alone but they have no effect on dichromate six 
and then they don't have a oxolic has no double bond. So it will not, not so in that kind of scenario, it will also be able to uh, to talk about that. Then we go to we go to what? The other issue is now another fallacious assumption. Many people due to nafunza methanoic to decanoic, unafunza watoto or organic acids are weaker. It's only that Mungu tuwa his idea to last year. I took watoto uh, wako ulizo a pH. That pH of that thing was pH 1. The, the organic one. But wali mwengine tunajua tu zile superior powers. They'd already done and given student 5. Uzuri tu wali uliza question 2 which was 5. By the ammonium salts are acidic and they are weak acids. Or ammonium salts, they are going to be acidic. Do you know the reason why? The ammonium ions. The ammonium ions will release, will release the hydrogen ion, making the solution acidic according to the INS principle, becoming acidic. Of course, hydrogen ion, ammonium ion cannot add, we cannot add another hydrogen ion to ammonium. They can only release. That's why the ammonium salts are acidic. So now, that's that statement of only confined to the straight chain monocarboxylic acids. You know, I thought uh, ethanoic to methanoic to decanoic thought in straight chains. Now they can only one carboxyl groups. In neck will bring you the aromatic and the aliphatic multicarboxylic acids. The aliphatic and the aromatic, these are the one with the or alkanoic acid with the benzene ring, they are strongly acidic. You know that. Eh? Or organic with a benzene ring, like benzoic, is strongly acidic. Or organic acid with more than one carboxyl group will be strongly acidic. The likes of oxolic, the likes of malic. E, which people don't know. And of course, they tested it last year. Some acids have both carboxyl and ROH. Yes, they exist. Yeah, like we have the amaprodite, a penis, and they have a vagina. So it's the same thing. It happens. Examples are the tartaric. Now, in the last year, that is, that is ascorbic. That is ascorbic acid, yes. Yes. You know that one was changing. And ascorbic is such a strong, it can use a very powerful ROH such that you get a dichromate. You notice that. You get a dichromate in a car and you canalize. So if you are not trained, your student will understand the potassium dichromate 6 is decaralyzed. <laughs> the power, you know, the power of ascorbic. You know, is the, do this. Of course, I'm giving you those days. Of course, there is no solid that neck will bring that I cannot design on thing. Uh, of course, because I have done all of them when I was making the, the fine practical. So, do things make sure that you are able to know them. Do things that are possible. And uh, sometimes that I will tell you a total lemon. For practical, sometimes I brought, gave my student and then they, they were raising, no, Malimu, you have given us a, a biology specimen and it is given. No, it is, you know, lemon. Lemon is, is the citric. It works very well. It decarolates potential for manganese. It will give you bubbles with, 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 the, with the carbonate and all those kind of things. You will test the pH and get it. Now, that's the thing. Yo, now, without wasting your time, we don't want to waste time here. Then I want to give you a practical plan. Now, you can see that you can see that you can see that you can Let me tell you, by the way. I can say that I'll, I will do a practical, I, of course. I can say that, but of course, today I've given you some of those tricks. I can say that a practical that you cannot even predict, even with that confidential. Okay, write this one down. You're provided with Mr. R. You're provided with Mr. R. Aluminium sulfate and Magnesium sulfate. So what do you think will be tested there? <laughs> I want to give you this question because if it comes, 
I'm coming here to give you these things that di kitu sia ni kitu je testio kama mtiani but ni kitu je testio but ikiletwa you are provided solid r na kupea mpaka the credentials so that you can also give it by the it is the manual i don't know whether for those who have used my manuals it is there but because i don't assume everybody does not have that i'll tell you which protocol that i let me give you it that is a, a mixture of magnesium sulfate and aluminum malt sulfate you are provided, you are provided with mr r containing two different cations and one anion containing two different cations and one anion they, of course that the the identity should not be given i'm just giving you so that whatever you you can also go and give your student number one part a place or solid air in a boiling tube add distilled water place or solid air in a boiling tube add distilled water add distilled water observation dissolves to form a colorless solution dissolves to form a colorless solution I, i'm giving you some of these things to show that end of fund all the practical una siku utaletewa practical kama ile iletwa ya 2017 whereby nobody predicted and 98% of the students were getting 00 in that question so this is an scenario that can be brought and you see dust particles so dissolve to form a colorless solution you get the solid soluble solid soluble That was A, isn't it? Okay. To the mixture obtained in A, to the mixture obtained in A, add sodium hydroxide. Add 10 cm cubed of sodium. Add sodium hydroxide until in excess filter. Add sodium hydroxide until in excess filter. Keep the residue and the filtrate keep the residue and the filtrate eh? uh, observations avoid residue avoid residue to me seven percent you avoid residue and a colorless filtrate acha ni wapele tu story finally mtaanza kuniuliza maswali Uh, a color is filtered and uh, of course for the inference jxx hakuna kitu ako infer hapo yes just leave it like that there's no problem then to the next part c place the filtrate in a test tube add dilute nitric 5 acid drop wires until yes add dilutic fiber acid drop wires until in excess observation okay uh, until i said that keep the resorting solution for use keep the resorting solution for use in d uh, in, uh, in in c roman 1 to c roman 3 you keep the resulting solution for use in c roman 1 to c roman 3 so hapo ni tume c bado but tutaenda roman 1 yake sasa now we we are getting there a wide observation in parenthesis ko blank ni ile inaikangwa x meaning hakuna kitu naandika in parenthesis in anything so the observation is a white precipitate soluble in excess to form a colorless solution a white precipitate soluble in excess to form a colorless solution ah to two cm cube of solution of 10c1 to two cm cube of solution of 10c1 add aqueous ammonia 
to 2 cm cubed or solution obtained in C. Okay, we can just call it C. Sindio? Ama yu akwanda to eta C1, eh? We can call it, uh, to eta C2. To 2 cm cubed or the solution obtained in C. Add aqueous ammonia dropper still in excess. Add aqueous ammonia still in excess. Still in excess, then you get white PPT soluble. White PPT soluble. White PPT soluble. White precipitate soluble. Ah, white PPT insoluble, sorry. White PPT insoluble. After the part we are, we are getting white PPT which is insoluble. Uh, to two CM good. Of the solution obtained in C1, I see, sorry, again. To 2 cm cubed of the solution obtained in C, to 2 cm cubed of the solution obtained in C, add, to 2 cm cubed of the solution obtained in C, add, sodium hydroxide, drop by still in excess. Add sodium hydroxide, drop by still in excess. White PPT is soluble. White PPT is soluble. Uh, to 2 cm good of solution obtained in C, to 2 cm of the solution obtained in C, add dilute, add sodium sulfate solution, add sodium sulfate solution, white PPT, white PPT. I assume the examiner brought something like that. Even with the confidential and everything. What will you think? Let me digest. I think it's a mission Najua. So let me analyze that question. One. Staki kufanya Precipitate is very simple. Si unajua precipitate. Let me explain. Dio mwelewe. Let's explain that question. To answer number one. It was a mixture. Of course all the soda are soluble. Kwa even the dissolve. Sawa. Then number two. The resulting solution you're adding aqueous sodium hydroxide. Drop us until in here. In excess. Are we together? Yes. And then we are getting what? Until filter. Well, residue. And again, do you know what is happening there? <laughs> do you know what is happening? We are adding sodium hydroxide to a solution of aqueous ammonia, aqueous aluminium, and aqueous zinc. Aqueous manganese. So now, the, any sort of aluminium, first of all, the valve reaction reacts to form aluminium what? Hydroxide. But on excess, it dissolves to form the, 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 the aluminate, isn't it? So the, finally, the aluminium will be formed, will be a solution. But magnesium is insoluble in sodium hydroxide, both in excess. So the excess is what? Magnesium hydroxide. It's so the role of sodium hydroxide to precipitate the aluminium to separate the cations. The the aluminium and the and the what? And the magnesium. So that's the point now. That's the concept of now the demand. Now you saw it was done in Jay Guja. It was there in two thousand, eh? Yeah, well he later two thousand. Then now we are adding now. Next, we are adding to the filtrate, which now contains aluminium. We are adding what? Nitric acid, drop oil, and deal in excess. But do what? Ata wengine wata correct was eme, should be sodium. Do you know what is happening there? Oh, you are getting white PPT soluble? When you add the nitric acid a few drops, it consumes some of the aluminium and drugs, so it changes now to the original what? Aluminium what? Hydroxide which is insoluble, which appears as the white PPT, which now will react with more acid to form now a soluble sort of sodium. A soluble sort of aluminum. Hallelujah. Munashika, you need, that is chemistry. <laughs> that is chemistry. Amuja yona yo zwali. Manu zangu munafanyanga nazo nini. Nagi demystifying. They are there. Huh? I'm saying, 
Unajua this one is soluble because simply containing excess excess hydroxide so they aluminate. It's aluminum combined with four hydroxide. So unajua inaanzanga aluminum hydroxide ikiongeza more hydroxide inakuwa the aluminate which is soluble. So now what is happening now when you add the acid the acid consumes some part of the hydroxide component. So it returns it back to the normal hydroxide which is insoluble. So by continually adding more acid the acid already react with what? With aluminum hydroxide. That's why you're getting white PPT which is soluble. That was KCC 2000 and it's part of two example protocol found in the manual. And I'm going to see I think it's around page 13 somewhere there solid D I'm or whatever I'll tell you uh, when I don't know whether anybody has a manual here nimeona mtu akona manual I can tell you the specific protocol anybody with a manual here no nobody has a manual the manual the, the blue one you have the hand booklet you can just check the qualitative analysis there is a question for that and the sub protocols they are there so that is the point that is there of course now is najua now after we are adding sodium and that ppt soluble is of najua then finally now get the hard acidified barium nitrate so that's why i'm saying even if now the neck brought such kind of a gushi now go and you going to bring you with a predict bore the idea is exposure you know the your student just need to know how to do the practical without si lazima ugo mapea observation and inference but if they know they do may not know that interpretation but they are writing the correct word correct thing tunaelewana eh yes you see even those those area whereby they require those complicated thing there is nothing to to infer so we make to x sawa thank you yes kuna mtu akona swali yes eh solution what which see yes it is aluminum ion that is what we are analyzing Yeah the idea is the first one after adding up the amino get to get white ppt insoluble that now becomes pamela lead aluminum magne magnesium add sodium and the white ppt soluble you remain with lead na aluminum then add sodium sulfate no white precipitate just check the the superior powers of the automatically no oh lead white sorry oh Oh, that should be no white ppt yeah should be no white ppt thank you thank you very dangerous for that i think uh, i was thinking of that so that is a uh, correct should be no white ppt which is aluminum perfect uh, let me just mention something about the graph work, then i we go right away the only graph thing is in asumbuan is our energy changes do you have this not am i give you problem with the energy changes graphs akuna ma even KLB, even i think even they just left it blank but they we always bring them even in theory so can i give you these are the notes you are going to use for energy changes graph the points do not is the lazima ugo na zijua or graph of course i can still give you the the handouts you don't have to write maybe you can listen mnataka you want to write Okay now one graph of energy changes are two lines of best fit each passing through the at least two correct points and must be extrapolated all graphs of energy changes are two lines of best fit each passing through two correct plots and must be extrapolated each passing through at least two correct plots which means there is no curve and there is no one line for energy lazima zikuwe line ngapi mbili Number two, the first line of best fit must touch the y axis, no hanging lines. Aguna kuweka kitu kama hii. Sorry. Aguna if you have something like that, and maybe the first plot is there. Lazima the first line, sorry. Mega vibe by but anyway this line cannot be left hanging here lazima iku extrapolated to touch the y axis so we are never going to have any the mochimel the graph which is not originating from the y axis 
20 months touch the wire axis. So there's no hanging lines for hanging grounds for Damo. It's only Damo and rate, by the way. Grass of highest temperature again is volume. Now you get what I'm saying. Let me just answer it there. Grass of solubility don't have to extrapolate solubility. Leave it hanging. Hata kama imianzia wapi. Wachana nae wapu. Sawa? That's it. So, grass of highest temperature again is volume. The y-axis must not start from zero, but x-axis must always start from zero. So, we are talking about now the y-axis. Si lazima yanzia zero, zero. Kama your initial temperature is 22, and zia 21, and you are good to go. Uh, the next one is a graph derived from discontinuous data. Uh, must be extrapolated and joined at the point where there is no data. I'll come to that. Extrapolated line must never intersect on a plotted point, and the point of intersection must be below or above all the plotted points. Waja to one. Graph number one. The moment Utai letewa table kama yo, option nimbili. The temperature will rise to the maximum then. Atakama ija drop, let it drop. Let your student know that. Sometimes like in 2020, later sodium kawa na HCL, na the reaction was so fast, eh? So ilienda ikaisha, ilikuwa ina dropia the last minute. Kwa hivyo watu wako wana wali extrapolate to your constant. And they lost, so lazima it drop. That's key number one. So the other one, either, either ipande, it drop, ama it drop, it drop na ipande. The only thing that you need to know that, when you're selecting the graph, like you can see, our, my highest temperature there was 34. I am going up to 40. You must allow room for extrapola extrapolation. We have to make sure that we get a higher temperature than what is recorded because if a reaction is exothermic, if a reaction is exothermic, if the temperature rises, like if the reaction is taking place there, some heat is also getting low. So we cannot be able to get practically the highest temperature reached because some of it lost. So that's why we try to extrapolate in order to mitigate for the one that is lost. Then number two, uh, uh, I think that is okay. That's correct. So then we also have the opposite of it. In Ikama Ikoendodamic now. Itakuwa itadrop, ipanifike maktram na ipande. Make sure that you force it to behave like that. There is no other option. Then kuna easy sasa. Kuna easy sasa. Easy ni enyelikuwa na wambia. Hizo graph derived from discontinuous data. Wale wa elewi. Zile ziko na X katikati. These are discontinuous data for temperature. There is a particular point that many two whereby there is no there is not for that. So we are saying once the first one is always a flat line, you have to extrapolate it to reach mini two, and the other one also has to be extrapolated to reach mini two, then join to that point. You know the reason why? According to the principles of thermodynamics, if you have this is water you are dissolving. So Initially, you are measuring the temperature of water, so there is no change in temperature, it remains constant. Then at minute two is when you are adding the other reagent. The principles of the thermodynamics dictate that at the point whereby the two reagents were mixed together, there was a instantaneous rate of reaction. Instantaneous rate. The particles reacted together complete, meaning the reaction is complete. When the reaction is complete is when you get the highest that's why we have that kind of a thing. Then that is it. Opia. So gravi nyi kokama hi ikotuna option in bili. Ineza panda iteremuke. Ama iteremuke na ipande. Pia ineza kuwa na option iteremuke na yanze kupanda. You link know the dropping one. Then you pick this one. Ineza kuwa constant. You know the rising one. Then you pick the descending one to get the highest temperature. So that's it. Like this one. This one, this one, many, this one was there in, I think, the other day. And many students were picking three lines. In fact, this one is very confusing. In a constant, in a panda, in a drop. So you know the kupanda because if you have to, you get at this line, you cannot get the highest temperature. So you know that one. So those are the options that are there for thermal uh, chemistry. But now there is this one. Kuna hii, then neutralization. Now the change, we are looking at the change in temperature. This one, the graph has to start from zero, zero. That one is no option. 
Na hii the last time was tested is 14 years ago, 2010. Now jue this year chances of thermochemistry are very high featuring. Thermosolubility, system and you stuck with but I'm just saying, of course there is a high chance. Thermochemistry domos, I must look at that one. Those particles are there. Please make sure that you petition what are the particles. Una zingine hata zijawai testiwa. Like, we have not compared diabetic versus monobasic. A possible practical in thermo. Now the kuletea HCL na sulfuric, the same molarity. Then you carry out enthalpy change. Then you tell us you are told solution and B of the same molarity. But one is giving you temperature change 12 degrees, the other one is giving you 8. Then you are told to explain what would be the issue. You tell us either this acid B is strong as the other one is weak or acid B is diabetic while the other one is monobasic. Those are issues that can be the concept of comparativeness. We can also compare displacement, copper, zinc, and iron. Which one will give you more heat than the other? Then we have rate, rate volume of acid against time is a curve. It was only tested once, 1992. Then rate against volume. This one has been tested all through, including last year. Then rate against temperature is a curve. Many people think it's a, it's a, it's a straight line. It's not. It's a curve. Then now, of course, that one, the line should just pass through to correct plot. That's the only thing that is. And teach your student to think. Like last year, 98% of the students did not get the question whereby we are asking them, well, just explain why we are adding water. Why water was being added. Simply because that already told you, they do that. 98% of 100% of the students, they are just guided. So the more than the guiding will go wrong. Or maybe this year they, they make now try that thing of now swapping the principles. You know what will happen when a principal from another school comes? He'll be very merciless. In fact, that he may employ a person or a policeman. So fools are total. So now you know these things they just say it and we think they are joking. The other time they say they'll be swapping the supervisors. Wait until now they change the center managers. Things will be something else. Do you know that question? Of why water was added? The answer was to vary the concentration of what? Potassium iodide. And we'll go on a max and a zero. At work on a 39, like in Yanko Kaswali, our own. The new query, paper three examiners. That's the question that most of the students are not saying. Okay, good. Then solubility graph, do you hear? Solubility graph in actual Eva Venyoko. The only mistake here, almost all the graphs exactly start from zero, but not solubility. Because of the part, you know, like when you bring the this solubility, come here at 206, it will be 4.5 grams. Normally, normally, you find that a the lowest temperature is 40. So do you need to start at a, do you need to start at a, at what? Do you need to start at zero? Ugyan the zero graph kataanzia hapa naishia hapa. So the graph, let it come at the lowest temperature is 45. Let them start at 45, at 40. It's okay. So let's go and practice on that. Kuna hii pia graph ya solubility. Make sure that you check on it. Hii ni solubility ya cooling curve. This one now, it had drop back at your room temperature. It will go and be place two grams of solid air in a boiling tube, add 10 singles of water, eat until all the, eat to a temperature of about 70. Then allow it to cool to, to 60. Then at 60, now you take it to a what? To a cold tap water. Then you cool it. Now that one, if you not to be a cold water, tap water in either cool to even a strain, depending on where you are. So it a kama cooling curve. It a drop equal constant na it drop. Do you know this one you need to understand that when you are defining solubility, Nasamanga, what is it of solution? When it ends up change when a, a, a solid dissolves in excess of solvent to form an infinitely dilute solution without any further change in temperature. At the solubility point, the temperature remains 
constant. That the that the that the wisdom is in this kind of a solubility curve to determine solubility where the temperature is constant. Now, is it practical? The covariance, just like melting point, eh? we mark the accuracy mark is pegged on the accurate on the constant. We don't mark the first reading. We mark the the constant. That's very much important for you to be able to understand. Then, common mistakes that teachers make using different brands of apparatus, e.g., thermometer, thermometer, halco, GAT, mercury, mercury is very sensitive. Now we are warning. We have to get water on our red. We are on a visuri. Let them be magnetic. Eh? Oxide should be prepared and supplied on the day of the examination. I've always talked about these things. As I don't know what was key. Come on, maybe we'll prepare our daughter with peroxide. You need to buy. Okay, I don't know. I do peroxide, Jana, in a decompose. Do you know I do your peroxide? will always decompose, even without a catalyst. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know in evaporate. I mean, be a equal principle under Guambe or Lucuno. The thermometer should always be standardized. Chukua thermometer enda uzieke kwa ethanol kama ni alcohol thermometers. Ama kwa maji kama ni mercury. Asubui zinafaa kuwa same level. Unajua, mimi am teaching you what, what your lab technicians are not told. Waliambiwa waekange kwa fringe. Hmm? How many schools have function of fringe in there? Kwa mitu zingini hata as it makes sense. So that is what you need to do. It appears of it to the level the following day. Siju kama ujee pewa toto pratiku walafu, unapata, wakila mtu anapata 30, 28, wuko na 22, you know those kind of things, because you don't standardize your thermometers. Expire, use of expired potassium, ni alishitanga na wambia, na muna enda tu muna rudia, na zikia duke ithi ithi, mwalimu, we are not seeing anything, what do I do now during exam? What do your designs are already there? Na hii ni rate, rate, kuna rate mingi kwa hile kitavu manu pale ni mekwekea. Enda uchukue moja, ufanya na hiyo potesha ya mawa day. Tunaelewana, eh? Uone kama itafanya. Tunaelewana? Yes. Like, for example, all the protocols are there, including last year. I've given, given the confidential. What was used there? What was used there? What was used there? Number two, still water happens with, the, with rate. Always let your student shake that solution containing starch. Hakuna starch soluble, hata kama mnaona imeandikwa starch soluble. Once you prepare starch, always it is insoluble, it is settled at the bo. Kwa hivyo hile wakati wameanda kufanya practical, mostly kama hile wakati wameanda add few drops of starch. Hakuna pale juu, wanachota maji ya nyeko juu, wanamuaga, wanaya. Because you have that thing. Lazima wa shake your solution ni kuna starch. This is your solution A. The other time we come and start, let them sh**. Otherwise, they're going to get to a town. They're going to put out a molly on a pata 30,000 seconds. That teacher should be arrested. Hmm? Hmm? No, but if it was in Guinea, I just really. Hmm? Practicals involving oxidizing agent, thermochemistry should be uh, prepared early. Advise your student to start the question involving thermochemistry at the same time, and banner should always be off. Unajua kuna watoto wana wakiingia tu lab. Kwanza ni kuhakisha box and bar. Combustion is an exothermic reaction. Another one. What will happen to the temperature of the room? It goes up. Wewe unaenda pale pep room una unapata 21, watoto wako watu wanapata 29. Some simple mistakes. Eh? Wale watu kuku ushagu, mali hata wanafanyia chini ya muti, wacha kufanyia practical chini ya miti. I think kuna zamu classes. At least now, tunapanya kama tunafunga. Avoid putting any solution in area whereby there is direct sunlight. Taputa kata iniweka. Kama ni mali kuna angukanga sunlight will also increase the temperature of that solution. That will also affect. No student should lose even a quarter mark because of you. Hmm? Hmm. I think I'm okay. Wale watu wakutengeneza the indicators, eh? Wajua muambi watu wa biology mkwa hapi hapa. Kama watangetaka kutangeneza iodine. Hata kushinda hiyo story mingi. Siji chukua potassium iodate. Mix with potassium iodate. Siji nini. Chukua tu iodine crystals. Tumbukiza kwa hitha. It will dissolve. And you're going to have your good 
solution of iodine and make it well. So these, these indicators are not very soluble in, in water. So you need to use ethanol to dissolve. And that is how you get the best of the best. And I think uh, without wasting of time, I don't want to get more than that. Uh, in all things for success to be achieved, it depends on the previous preparations. And if there's no such preparation, there is sure to be failure. Thank you. Uh, that is all from the Ocean of Chemistry and the UPA Command Center for the part one. Uh, that is my number. Get it. I don't know whether we need to to start another, a new a new WhatsApp group or we can simply use whatever is available. We just add the people who are here. So my number is there. Just get it. It send me uh, your number. I think I'll be able to get If you are not in the WhatsApp by in a few days, make sure that you, you test me so that I can be able to uh, to work with that. Uh, by the time to finish, I'll be able to you have given my my team uh, the other number, the other numbers that you can also uh, use to so make sure that uh, some people will be able to. So make sure that you just get that line. You can test me uh, so that we can be able to give you uh, the link so that you can join the WhatsApp group. We can be able, we'll be able to get that. We can, we'll continue. Of course, I always have a, 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 a state of the nation address whereby I address people on how to, I always provide information. That one is free. I always normally in August, I always provide a state of the nation address for your students. I pay for the Zoom and it's very expensive, but I pay for it. I don't charge them. So normally, I normally give them a talk because I may not be able to go to every school. Like now, after here, we are heading to Omba Bay with Mr. Moguza to assume the girls to go and also talk to the teacher there. So I may not be able to, 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 to go to every school. That's why I try to put something in the YouTube. Please, this will be to the graph work and the analyze with Zuri and the work of the work of the work of the Yes, I'm not telling you at Lazimo stream. Even if you download, it's okay. I'm not targeting the thing, but at least there's something that your student can be able to get. So that's my number. Be able to test me. Sometimes I'm usually busy. If I don't uh, respond, just be consistent. Just persist, and I'll be able to respond. So at this juncture, I want to call Mr. Bogoza, the boiling ocean of chemistry, to continue dispensing wisdom ruthlessly and dropwise until in excess, until all the confusion you have deserves to form a colorless solution. Thank you so much uh, for listening to me.